Yeah, I think we'll just get on with the rest of the stream. Um, whatchamacallit? Actually, yeah, I should just open this. Because, um, whatchamacallit, I do have ice pop as well. But I'm going to be drinking that uh, probably for tomorrow's stream. I'm going to let my, like, um, my palate, like, cleanse a little bit more. Like, give it a day. Then see how that goes. <laughs> and now that's the uh, not sponsor over. Back to our regu regular scheduled junking. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going to have it on the side anyway. And I'm probably going to finish the drink. It's just, I feel like maybe I've just eaten too much today. So I can't drink the whole thing yet. Actually, give me a minute as well. Oh. And funny enough, now that I've stopped traveling around the place, I'm a, it's actually nice outside. Oi, man. Oh, oi, oi, oi. Righty-o. Uh, da, 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 da. Just gonna close that. And then I'm gonna open Jump King. Again, as I said, I was gonna play FNAF Security Breach, but, like, my PC literally can't run it anymore, I don't think. Unless I'm playing it, like, without OBS and the VTuber software all open at once, like. It's a shame, because I really do want to play it, and I also just don't want to spoil myself in the series, so I might just watch someone play the DLC or something like that instead. It was free anyway, so, like, I didn't have to pay for it. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yeah, I need to change this to Jump King as well. Jump King. There you go. Oh, gee, I forgot how loud Jump King is. Oh, right. Yeah, so I'm s still just... It's just bizarre that this drink is actually here right now. Oh, this is where we were the last day. Great start. Oh my god, what are you doing?! Have you tried the Mr. Beast food? I haven't tried Feastables or uh, Burger. I don't think I'll ever get to try a burger, though, because I think they were meant to be, um... I think he said he was meant to be, like, closing them at some point in the near future, because he just didn't like the quality of the food that was coming out. And, um, whatchamacallit. I haven't tried Feastables either, because I... Like, I have seen them in a shop up in Dublin, but, they're, again, they're overcharging for it, like, way too much. Like, again, I'll, I'll accept Prime at double its price, but I won't accept Prime at triple its price, like... It's a mad universe we live in where I'm actually accepting it, but hey, you know what? I get to make a, like, video out of it, so... There's that trade-off. And then I think it was, like... The, so, like, the bottles in other places is, like, 10 euro. The cans in other places is 12 euro, and the sachet of Prime is, like, um... 6 euro. Which is, like, ridiculous for some powder, like... Oh shit, there I go. But yeah, again, I I really do think it comes down to like the flavors like they had available. I just don't really think I like blue like raspberry itself. Like I do like maybe it isn't the coconut water as well. Like I think it's fine. It's just obviously, you know, if you're hyped about having it, don't be. Just at the end of the day, it is just another like well, I wouldn't even say energy drink, because it's a thing. At the end of the day, it's just another, um... Well, I, I won't even call it a soft drink. It's flavoured water. At the end of the day, it's just, like, another bottle of flavoured water that you can get that's made by a crypto scammer and a boxer. Alleged crypto scammer. <laughs> alleged. I have, to, I, have to, I have to keep prefacing that. Alleged. Alleged. Allegedly. I should really add alleged at the start of the sentence, though. But I don't think Logan's gonna come down on me randomly. And if he does, then, uh, yeah, you'll never hear me utter the words Logan Paul ever again. That would be so funny, though. <laughs> Imagine. It's like, oh, this random VTuber on Twitch with like 139 followers yet. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go after him. How dare he, like, call me a scammer? Or allege me as a scammer. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think if- I don't think much else has happened, honestly, because, like, as I said, um, before, I think, last week, I was just- The reason I wasn't on yesterday is because I was at work, but then I also went to see, like, uh, I, I saw two films yesterday, back to back. Do you want to take a guess at what those films are, Justin? 
Because uh, it's kind of gas now that I think about it. Yeah, I literally in the order you told, like, say it there as well. Oppenheimer and Barbie. Oh, you dumbass Joe. And unironically, like, Barbie actually was kind of good, like. And Oppenheimer, I will admit, was a bit slow, but the fucking sound design in Oppenheimer was god tier. Like, that, that's all I say about that, anyway. Because if you haven't seen them, I won't spoil it on you. Oh god, there you go. Um... Because, like, I think, for me, and like, in Barbie, I have my expectations, like, really low. And at the same time, the theme of the film is, like, not what I was expecting. And then for Oppenheimer, it was, like... They kind of just... I don't really know if it, like, I don't know. Like, there was the best moment in Oppenheimer is, like, essentially when anything, like, bomb-related is brought up, essentially. Now, uh, the funniest thing about Oppenheimer is, like, oh, every film has to show fucking, like, the Nazi symbology and Hitler and all that, but they actually didn't even really go too much into that, honestly, and I kind of, like, respect them for that. They mainly just focused on the creation of the atomic bomb and all that. Now, is it historically accurate? I think it is, because I was talking to my dad this morning about it. And, like, he knows a lot of stuff about, like, um, World War II and that sort of shit. And, like, yeah, a lot of it seemed to be, uh, pretty accurate enough, anyway. And again, without spoiling anything, there was a weird section in the middle of the film. And I still can't get over that it actually happened in the film. There's a few moments like that in Barbie as well, where like I was legit just watching Barbie and I'm like, wait, this is happening in this film? Sex sense or six? Did you mean six sense? Oh god, up we go. Or do you mean sex scene? Oh yeah, in um, if you're talking about Oppenheimer, yeah, like. It was like, all I'll say is, oh, hey, Fab, how's it going? Hopefully we're not spoiling an Oppenheimer or Barbie, and if we are, then uh, let us know and I'll shut up. Because I, I don't like spoiling things on people. I thought it was just me and Justin so we can talk about it. And he was just saying there about, like, things so he must have seen Oppenheimer, at the very least. You missed the whole uh, prime hydration thing. Was HBO sex. Wait, what, HBO? Sorry, my brain is slow. Let me, let me have a sip of Prime Hydration, not sponsored. Yeah, I do really think it's just the flavor of this one. I don't really... I'm not a big fan of it. As I said already, like, I don't really like raspberry anyway, so... Just unlucky that they only had blue raspberry and the ice pop. But at least tomorrow we'll be trying the ice pop, see what that's like. Because I think it's actually meant to taste like an actual ice pop, just, like, in a drink form. Uh, seeing too much or not really. Uh, I'll, I'll wait on... I, uh, okay, Fab, is it alright if I talk about Oppenheimer on stream? Or would you rather... Like, if you're still wanting to see it, do you want to just see it without me saying too much about it? Because, again, I, I, I would hate to be that guy that starts spoiling... Um, like, stuff about a film and all that. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, dumbass job. Wait, actually, I forgot about that. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, fair play to you, Fab. I just remembered it there. I was like, oh yeah, wait, weren't you doing that like last time? That's madness. It's not even close. <laughs> uh, yeah, 400. It's like almost half of it, but like, you really have set yourself off in the lead, like. Oh, excuse me. Um, I can't remember what else I was going to say. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
But yeah, if you don't mind me talk about Oppenheimer, I'll talk about it a bit more. But other than that, the only other thing I can remember yesterday is... My workplace was like dead quiet. And that's really, I honestly don't care if he ends up getting fair first now. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you've done your thing. During that extra stream I did on, uh... It was Saturday, wasn't it? I did. I don't know why. I, like, randomly, like, I say I will, like, stream on Sunday, but I randomly just don't. <laughs> I just, it's like somewhere in my head, it's like, actually, you know what? Let's do all these other things instead of, like, stream on Sunday. That's, like, weirdly, truly my day off, honestly. <laughs> I, I stayed, like, an hour longer. Jeez. I don't even know if I can turn it off, like, when the chat is offline. So it's just free, it's essentially just free to be exploited, like. There probably is an option, I just didn't see it. Cause I, I can't have that happen again. <laughs> it's just like, just any time people want to just farm for points, they can. Oh god. And, and then just break the economy. The economy's still broken, it's gonna cost like, literally just like, you know, a good hundred mil now just for a slice of bread. And people with like less points are gonna be like, bro, how can I afford anything? <laughs> like, oh, excuse me, <coughs> Jesus, I've had a bit today. <laughs> the Great Depression, quite literally. Yeah, you could manually disable it. Yeah, but then that's an effort to like, <laughs> like, that's an effort. Just turn it off after every stream. <laughs> I might have to though. If, if, like, right now it's grand because, like, it, it was only you doing it, so, like, there's not many people doing it, but, um, and you're saying you won't do it again, but that's fine. It's just if somebody does do it in the future, it's, like, <laughs> it's just, like, I'll, I'll literally be offline one time, and I'll open, like, OBS in the morning, and I'll just see in the chat that someone's, like, been betting, like, all night, and, like, God, I need to put a stop to this. Someone needs to turn off their, um, macro. There we, oh shit, wait. There you go. Why, why would they provide a tear line on the, uh, prime bottle? People think I'm actually gonna tear the label off my bottle. Oh shit. Where are you going?! Uh, what happened was, um, like, last stream, where I wasn't hosting it, quite literally. And I was just messing with it in the background. Uh, Fab just kept like betting even after the stream was over. <laughs> so like, if you if you put in exclamation mark top there, Justin, you'll see that he's gotten a uh, a lot more points than Alex. Let's just say that much. Oh, up we go. Um. I figured out, I think the rolls are 100, 1 to 99. I don't think there's a 0 or 100, yeah. Have you found out, though, if, um... Like, when you get tripled the bet? Because, like, weren't you saying the last time, or someone else was saying about, um... If you get, like, 90 or something... And only 99... Ah, okay, so it has to be 99, yeah. So yeah, no, that, that's fair, yeah. If 90, 98 doesn't, then it's literally 99 only. I was gonna say 99 in the book, but you literally just said, like, 100's not available, so. And as you said yourself, anyway, at least you weren't just doing that, like, without doing anything else, you were actually watching someone as well. Also, the same does not work in reverse. Oh, so if you get, like, the number one, you're not going to lose, like, triple the amount. You just lose, like, the amount you betted on, right? Kind of feels like an uneven system. <laughs> it's just... Oh, yeah, but, like, if you get over here, you know, you get this amount, and if you get down here, eh, you lose what you bet. But I guess if I, like, bet on a horse race... Like, let's say I bet, like, 50 or something, whatever amounts, like, work. I w they wouldn't exactly turn to me and be like, Oh yeah, by the way, uh, that's, like, triple the charge. I'm like, what? what? Why? I just bet 50, like... There we go. 
Logan Paul, Jake Paul, all the balls. Yeah, it was K. You know, it was KSI that called out Logan and Jake ages ago. That's a historic event. Oh yeah, actually that reminds me. Me and my mate were talking yesterday, and uh, I don't think I'm actually going to go to London next month. I think the fight itself this is like a rumor but they're saying it's meant to be taking place in october so i'm probably going to be gone for a weekend in october and that'll be to see the um like next ksi fight i'm going for multiple reasons anyway i, I loved it when i went to the uh, football stadiums like when i was 17. just such a good atmosphere like you like as i said as well with oppenheimer you have to be in the cinema to kind of feel the good sound design like just like being in a um being in a football stadium you kind of have to be there to actually experience the uh, crowd not that i really knew like who i should support or not without getting my head battered in but yeah for a gambling system to work the owner has to make more than the winning of the people yeah that's why a lot of it is usually just rigged against it like that's why crane games exist in japan as well as gachapon and all that like a lot of it, well actually not even Gachapon, I'd say more so on the crane game side. Where like, crane games are just ridiculously hard to like, uh, beat. Unless you're trash taste and you buy your own arcade machines, but then you realise that Claw is literally like, he's got the like tightest grip imaginable, so everybody that like literally played on those machines always won something. It's <laughs> just, that will be, oh that's so gas, like. After all the time being fucked over by crane game machines, they still kept getting fucked over, like. But yeah, no, crane games are just a bit, like, a good bit of fun when you just put a little money into it. It's bad when you start, like, actually, like, putting a lot of money in. Because you're literally putting so much money in for something that probably costs, like, 10 euro to make, like. Now, unless it's, like, an anime figure, that's different, because a lot of anime figures do go for, a lot of, like, 30 euro or so. $30, 30 pound. But, um, yeah. <laughs> don't go. Yeah, actually, that's the big takeaway. Don't gamble, kids. Uh, it really is just gambling. Yeah. Because you're putting down, like, an unknown amount of money to try and get something. Or to try and win, quote unquote. Whether winning is actually you getting what you want or just getting something from the machine. The claw chooses when to be weak, yeah. At least in Japan, they have a, um, what, um, I call the sumimasen system. Where sumimasen would be, uh, excuse me, please. Or I think it means something like that. And when you call them over, like, they actually reposition the, uh, item you want for you. So it makes it, like, easier for you to get it. So, at least you have that. Like, if it's not, like, the, um, if you're not picking up a plush and you're picking up, like, uh, like, there's a different kind of crane game game where, like, you're picking up like a box in between like two threads or something like that and it struggles to go between them but yeah also those light timing games is the same thing yeah yeah no honestly like i feel like i like not to brag but i feel like i'd be pretty good at timing um so like if i were playing those i'd just get like pissed off at myself like after all i am a rhythm game player even though Actually, no, I played Hatsune Miku's uh, Mega Mix recently on PC again. And the main reason I was even playing was, one, because I was bored, and two, I actually created the characters to look like Sherry Aubrey's story characters, so I was like, I have to play now. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, well, actually, oh yeah, shit, that, wait, that means I'm bad then. <laughs> just, wait, no, we can't, wait, 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 we can't use Jump King as an example then. <laughs> just, yeah, Jump King's not a rhythm, well, actually, oh, wait, actually, what rhythm... Wait, would Jump Game be a rhythm game? <laughs> it's just like... Revelation. Uh, oh, so... Yeah, that, that's a nerd game I like. Um, or did like playing, but I don't really play too much of it anymore. You're working with milliseconds. True, yeah. Oh, shit. You know, rhythm, I guess, is more like when you're trying to... Like, play something in the... Like, in the same beat as a song, usually. <coughs> Man, my throat is, uh very perched. Be a shame if I stopped to take a swig of the- <laughs> No, I gotta stop. Because people are actually gonna think I'm actually sponsored by them, but I'm not. Like, if I was sponsored by Prime, I would actually ask for the whole, like, selection. I would not just ask for, like, two. 
there. Right, set up my god. Uh, because you have audio to assist. True, yeah. Whereas in this, you kind of just go off of your own intuition on how you jump and stuff. I thought I was going to hit the yoke. I did hit the yoke. <clears throat> you know, ironic, actually, I'm just going to take a quick swig. I think that's it. I think it's just too sweet. <laughs> just, I know that's kind of funny to say, but I actually think the drink is just too sweet. I think that's it. Like, I usually like sweet stuff, but I actually think that's too sweet. Again, it could just be the raspberry flavor. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're just writing down the note. Never tried Prime. I will say, Fab, it's not sewage water, but, like, it's not... It's overhyped. It's really overhyped. Like, if you're expecting a god-tier drink, don't expect it. That's all I gotta recommend to you if you ever do try Prime. I was just lucky because I heard of a shop that's, like, near me that was gonna sell it and, like, sell it for cheap. So I was like, oh, yeah, why not? Why, why can't I just go and buy it for, like, cheaper? Like, three euro, right, I paid for the drink. But everywhere else in Ireland, it's, like, ten euro. I know that's bad that I'm still playing, like, probably double the price for the drink. But I'm taking that chance, alright? I'll take it. Gotta have some, uh, tax write-offs and- Well, not a tax write-off, I say tax write-off. <laughs> Gotta have a, uh, now uh, whatchamacallit. What was it? There was another thing, it was, like, not tax write-off, there was some other thing. I have to have a, um, uh, company refreshments, there we go. Yeah, 10 euro. That's why I didn't get it before, because, like, in other places, it was just so expensive. Oh, shit, is it, actually? And I've gotten more... <laughs> I've legitimately gotten more out of Jump King than I have out of a Prime bottle so far, so... Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm glad I waited, though, for it to, um... What you call it? I'm glad I waited for it to come down on price, though. Well, I say come down on price, but, again, it's a different provider that's selling it. It's like uh, 11.50 US. Jesus. 11.50 dollars. How? I thought like it was grand in the US. I didn't think people were scalping it. Justin, whatever you do, don't don't buy Prime. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, Jump King. I was gonna be like, no way are they actually selling it for over the price and thing. Um. But still, though, like you get more out of Jump King than you would out of a Prime ball, to be honest. Well, obviously, if I was dying of thirst, I wouldn't buy Jumping. I'd buy the bottle, like... Oh, God. Because, again, it is meant to be a hydration drink. And, honestly, I kind of... Unironically, I actually do think it is hydrating me. Like, I know it's fucking liquid, obviously, drinking it, but... I think it is doing what it says. But, yeah. It's going to be interesting anyway tomorrow when I try the uh, popsicle flavor. I gotta retitle the stream though. What should it be? Instead of sewage water, it has to be like. Drink. I can't say drinking bleach because Twitch will probably ban that. Or not ban that, but they won't let me name it something like that. Oh shit, where am I going? Okay, fine. I guess we're going this way. Ooh. Ooh, no! <sighs> Bleat. Oh, you mother lover. Thank you. <laughs> drinking alcohol. Now, nah, it, it has to be something that's disgusting. Yeah, no, the um, caffeine canned version is under investigation for um, having, like, a ridiculous amount of caffeine in it. And how it's, like, kind of, they say it's marketed towards kids, but I kind of think that's bullshit. Like, a lot of fucking law stuff recently has been saying, oh, but what about the kids? And it's like, shut the fuck up. Like, come on, you know, like... If you cared ages ago, I wouldn't have gotten, like, access to Pornhub when I was 14, like. Uh, like, especially because, actually, there was a thing they were mentioning about the ERS, ERSB, or is it ESRB? Like, the rating board for, like, games. They're trying to introduce this kind of system where, like, when you buy a game, you actually have to scan your face to prove that you're of the age to actually play the game. Which... 
if they go through with that, that's fucking, that's gonna be bullshit for all parties, like kids and like adults. Because technically, even as an adult, you'd have to scan your face to actually buy the game, like. And plus, there are parents that just give permission to kids to get games that are, like, of certain ages. Like, I know when I was, um, I think it was, like, 15 or something when I first played my first 18s game. That was, um, I, or maybe it was COD, was it? I can't remember. Because it was, like, Resident Evil 6 we bought, anyway. That was like the first 18s game properly I played anyway. That wasn't, I guess, COD. No, yeah, no, COD at the time was 12s, I think, actually. It's like Call of Duty 3. Oh, God. There I go. <laughs> Sounds very... Yeah, it honestly is. They they put up the shield of, like, it's for the kids, but it really isn't. It's, for, it's definitely to scrape, like, more information from people about what they look like and all that. Oh my god. And plus, like, I don't want to have a fucking little pop-up with- Like, bro, I grew up for a reason! I'm an adult now, I'm 23! I should be able to just purchase my own, like, stuff without having to give away my life, like... I just don't trust, like, a lot of, um... A lot of that sort of shit, like... Like, come on, just let us buy the games for fuck's sake. Just add better protective measurements on fucking bank cards and stuff, alright? Or just keep the card away from the kids. Tell the parents, yo, maybe you want to stop your kids from spending 10,000, like, euro on Genjin Impact, like... Or as the government might say, Genjin Impact skins, when it's... It's like, no, that's, this, that's not skins, that's, that's the wish system, that's the uh, gacha, that's re-rolling. Because, unironically, I do think games do enough to actually tell people about uh, when you purchase stuff and whatnot online. And that you should be watching your kids online and all that. Like, I I genuinely do feel bad if I ever have kids one day. Because I'm just going to look up every single thing I need to remember about keeping them safe online. They will have, like... <laughs> I wouldn't actually I wouldn't even give them access to YouTube kids. I'm just like right see this YouTube playlist That's the only thing you get to watch today, and then I'll curate the next one for you the next day <laughs> um, Actually, no, I'd probably still allow them on YouTube kids, but No, actually no, I would actually allow them on Netflix. We gotta watch them um, Iron Man Armored Adventures Johnny tests uh, If we can find Teen Titans somewhere, we gotta watch that uh, We gotta find like a old cartoons. I used to love watching so I can rewatch them myself yeah, bad parent. I do kind of think I'd be as well with how, it, like, not invasive, but how protective I would be of my kids online. Or just tell your kids that money is tool and use it wisely. I, I could say that, but kids don't have a good grasp on money. Especially when in games you can earn it so easily. Like, points and all that sort of shit. And how, like, you, when you spend points in a game, there's no consequences to it in the real world. So, yeah. I would let them on Reddit at 10. Yeah, no, that, that's your choice. That's fair. I, I, I don't actually know when I'd start letting my kids, like, do... Like, I, if they don't make one already themselves, because they're definitely going to be very tech-savvy, I'd say, like, if, I, um, if they weren't tech-savvy, I'd definitely be like, right, you make an account when the... Oh, my God, Jesus, where am I going? Uh, you make an account when, like, you're of age for the website. <laughs> so that means you're not making a X account until you're 18, because that, that sounds like a porn site. Which, actually, that's another bit of news I forgot as well. Fucking Twitter's now rebranding to X and all that properly. But anyway, uh, be too unprotective, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I'd definitely be that, like, dad that, like, parents or kids would hate, but then they'd be like, Oh, Dad, why can't you be like, their dad, they're so cool, and they allow them to do this, that, and that. They set off fires in their back garden every day. And now I'm like, honey, that that's just them burning their garbage. That's a bad thing. You shouldn't be doing that. You know? <laughs> Twitter X, yeah. I just don't know how I feel about them changing the whole thing. Like, Sherry Arbor's story, Volume 1 Preview, is meant to be coming out soon, and it still says Twitter inside of it. So, like... <laughs> 
It's like, God, oh, thank you, Elon, for doing it the like week I decided to actually try and publish the preview of Sherry Arbor's story. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, if they found off st found out how to do things on their own and they're keeping safe, then I probably would like relax when they're like older. Like, I feel like it'd be fair as well to let them on the internet properly. Like, I mean, when I mean properly, I mean like start unrestricting things around when they're like eleven or twelve, because that's when I got access to the internet. So I th I think it's only fair, honestly. But it also depend on my um, what call it, my partner's opinion, like how they'd feel about that as well. Um, they probably won't, <laughs> they won't get a uh, monster or anything like that anyway until they're uh, sixteen because it's meant to be really bad for thing. Even though I know like people that drank monster before they were sixteen, like myself as well, <laughs> actually. I mean, hey, if they're good at keeping it a secret and I don't know, then that's all the better. I don't have to worry about it. It's only when they accidentally leak it to me or I find out. That's when it'll become a problem, like. It's better that I just don't know. As long as they're staying safe, like. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are people freaking out over the X? Uh, then it was my 3DS. Oh, wait, so... Oh, shit, wait, hold on. I've missed a few things. I would be too unprotective, Twitter X. The first time I had access to the internet was my mom's phone. Yeah. Why are people freaking out over the X? It's because it's just a bad name. That's really it. And that, like, it's destroying Twitter's brand identity. Even though it is bad right now, like, it's still a brand that's known over 10 years. Twitter might die because of it, like. But then again, they've been saying that for years now, so. I realize as well, this prime says it's not artificially flavored. So that's natural, baby. Got the water, coconut water, and the natural flavors. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. I don't know, I guess it's just, it, in a way, if you want to sum it up to anything, it's just Twitter being Twitter. <laughs> it's just, and then me as well, just being like, the only reason I am annoyed is because I wrote in Sherry Aubrey's story at the start of it, like, linking the Twitter to the Sherry Arbor story account, it still says Twitter. It doesn't actually say, like, in parenthesis, like, X or something like that to denote the difference. Sherry Arbor story is now out of date, and it hasn't even come out yet. There's a, a copy and paste of Twitter. Um, I think there is an extension that does swap out the logo anyway. Oh, yeah, threads. I think that's dying now. Because I think people popped up, like, hopped on for the hype, but then, like... I don't think they innovated fast enough, and I think people are actually leaving it now. But I did hear people say it was actually kind of nice, though, for the first few weeks, like, when it launched. Because not everybody was at everybody's throats after, like, random shit that usually happens on Twitter. It just felt like old Twitter to some people, and that's why they liked it. Hmm. <laughs> the first... Thanks for following me, Mr. Mango. The first thing you come into this chat and say, feet cam. <laughs> An exclamation mark as well. <laughs> I mean, I, I still... Oh, wait, I don't have it plugged in anymore. Oh, wait, actually. Uh, oh, wait, where did I even put it? Where? where did, oh, there it is. Hold on, one second. <laughs> Just... One second. Unironic, one second. Heh, <laughs> okay then. Oh shit, I just realized I can actually swap back to the Sherry Arbor model now. Just give me a uno momento. Again, thanks Mr. Mango for following us. Just give me a minute, maybe your wish might come true. <laughs> just let me see, I don't think there's anything that's... Ah, it's grand. You just get to see my messy floor and stuff. Because this is, like, the screen I was using, so, like, I was showing off the Prime bottle like that. And this is underneath what my feet right here. Look how clean that is. That is absolutely horrendous. What's your pinky toe's name? I don't name my feet. I'm not a feet guy. But I am showing you where my feet have been. There's my PC. Very exposed, very dirty. Nothing else to say about that. And my, my, my dogs aren't out. My dogs are covered, Mr. Mango. 
There. That that's all you get. No, no face no, no face cam. It was just a uh, prime cam. Because I was trying prime. Yeah, it's open because like during the summertime it gets really warm, so I have to like actually air it out by like taking off the cover, like. So like at any time, if I rage and I fucking split my feet apart, all my computer parts are destroyed. <laughs> So I have to be like real careful like No I'm spilling the prime I'm joking, it was literally only a droplet like. I think a drop went in my eye there as well. Right. Let's continue. Oh shit, wait, one second. There we go. Um should I swap to the other Yeah, fuck you know actually I'll swap to the other model first. Hold on, give me a second. This is what happens when we re-hit the 140 follower goal. Just give me a uno momento activity. Where is it? PGTuber. <laughs> Loot. I know, right? Fella just shows his feet in socks. That's so rude. Or, like, lewd. And no, Twitch, it's not a fucking sexual fetish thing, alright? It's literally... No, it's just not that. It's not that, I swear. Um. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Sorry, my brain's being slow right now. I'm gonna have to take the prime bottle off my head as well. But at least I could put it back on. Actually, oh no, I can't because the other model uses the hat. Hold on, give me a minute. Literally taking another like few minutes. There we go. I'm once again cosplaying as Sherry Arbor from Sherry Arbor Story. There we go. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. Do that. Boom. There we go. Now we're back. I won't stop watching until I see Toe. Well, you might want to get comfortable then, Mr. Mango, and do some betting or something. Because <laughs> as you can see... Actually, let me do the top here. We have commands. Actually, oh yeah, command list. That's what... I should have done that at the start. Command list. There we go. My favorite, like, um... Watch my god, my favorite one of these commands is literally CD. It's actually such a good command. I, I'm so glad Fab suggested to, for me to add that one. It's really good. Um, but yeah, there are, there's like a list of commands. <laughs> Just if you want to get comfortable, because it won't happen. I'm not showing those dogs, and my feet are fucking horrible, man. They are actually horrendous. The <laughs> exclamation mark feet. Oh, I still need to fill in the quotes. Fuck's sake. I'm Keep forgetting about the quotes, because we had another bot that had a few quotes, but now I need to, like, actually make it again. Oh my god. Up we go. Oh, too much. I keep doing that, I don't know why. It'd probably be 8-ball if you're wanting the 8-ball there, Justin. Honestly, that's probably the closest I'm going to get to fucking showing my feet on camera, honestly. Just that little bit. Just in socks. Wait, why are you saying shit? Isn't that not good? Because... Oh, yeah, it said paper. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, I won against you, yeah. I read it as rock for some reason. <laughs> it's just like... It's literally paper and scissors, but I read it as rock, like... Eight ball. It's <laughs> just... For sure. So whatever you probably just said to yourself or thought about, that's what it's answered. Actually, let me ask eight ball a question as well. Eight ball... Will prime ice pop flavor be good? Or goof be good? Good with a capital D? No. <laughs> Maybe not! Okay, no, that might actually be accurate. Um, so I will have kids, for sure. <laughs> I mean, hey! The eight ball doesn't lie. When it's slandering me a lot, it's actually truthful slander. Like, watch this for example, right? Exclamation mark, eight ball. Uh, will I beat Jump King today? Do my parents love me? Fuck yes. Oh, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Literally giving you the fuck yes and me the fuck no. Will Prime sue Joe and win? No, wait, wait, why would Prime- No, 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 wait, Logan, Logan Paul, I know you're watching the stream. Please don't sue me. You're not a scammer. Like, it's everybody else's- I swear- Okay, I can't even joke about that just in case. You're, you're not an alleged scammer, swear down. 
Um, what's me call it? Uh, do do uh, do you recommend getting pool? Getting pool? Maybe not. Well, whatever that is, it says no. It says no there no leak. This primer scam, maybe, <laughs> maybe not as well. Not a definite no, just maybe no. You know, Prime. Oh, for fuck's sake! Dropping down the side again. Um, Prime has made like a ridiculous amount of money. That's the only reason I'm annoyed at like Logan Paul that he can't even like pay people back because like he has a shit ton of money and he just can't even pay like even just a smidget of that money to like help people out in the scam or the le alleged scam. Um, but I also think it's because like his legal representatives has told him not to do something. Because if he did something, that would look suspicious. I don't know. Can I get money for sending pictures? Probably not. Damn. I swear, actually, it was on uh, Twitter, I think I saw, or X, sorry. Where, like, I think it was saying, um, <laughs> someone was sharing a link, it's like, um, I don't know, it probably was a bot, but it's just like, send... Or this is a place where you can make, pay, like, a lot of money, like, mo what was it? You can make a living just sending your feet pics to people. Anyway, um, damn. Better than having it say, the answer is within yourself. Oh my god, no way, man. Honestly, I could have shilled a bit harder for Prime, I just realised. I could have had the Prime shirt and all on, but I was like, nah. I won't go that far. As I said, I just want my uh, stream title and my thumbnail to go out on YouTube later, and that's really it. Then I gotta, um... What's it called? Then I gotta actually edit the rest of the FNAF security breach footage I have. Um... Yes, who the fuck buys feet pics? Me, and it's just Pi coming in. Oh, Pi, is Mr. Mango your alternative account? It's <laughs> just like... Uh, how's it going as well, Pi? Um, Because, like, Mr. Mango is here looking for some feet pics from uh, moi. And I provided something, but it wasn't exactly feet pics. It was just how dirty my fucking place is currently. I'll hoover, I swear I will hoover it soon, I'm just waiting until like next month essentially. Because I usually do it like once a month so I can do it all in one go. Um, you can google it, I'll send feet pics. Don't, don't send them to me, I don't want to see your feet. Alright, I don't want to see any feet pics, I'm good. I don't even want to see my own feet, ne 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 like, ne let alone like other people's feet. Will Joe show his feet this stream? Definitely not. I'm sorry Mango. I, I already kind of show it, showed it, but like, you know, it doesn't really count anymore, does it now? Um, should I say- Pi! No! Don't! <laughs> Don't! 8-Ball, okay, 8-Ball does spit some lies. It, like, I know it's slanderous to- well, not slanderous, it's like, against literal God itself to go against 8-Ball, but I'm telling the truth. It tells lies sometimes. You can't fully trust it. It's like Loki, right? Where, like, you start to trust Loki because he's a good manipulator, but then he stabs you in the back, you know? That's what 8-Ball is. It's just Loki. Oh, what if I called 8-Ball Loki instead? Nah. I think 8-Ball is an easier one to remember. But that would be funny, though, if I renamed 8-Ball to Loki. There we go. Oh, you lover. You absolute lover. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be beating up this prime bottle for absolutely no reason. We need a command that talks like Yoda. <laughs> So like another answering bot essentially. So why do people like feet? It's just, I guess it's just a fetish thing, isn't it? Like, that's all it really is to it.
Like, obviously, I'm not opposed to feet existing, but, like, feet as a, like, fetish kind of genre is just not for me. Hopefully, that's not too much TMI. Or ju it's just TMI, Joe, because it's too much information. That's what it stands for, Joe. You don't say too, too much information. <laughs> that's double. Oh, yeah, Will Farrell was in, um, I think his name's Will Farrell. He's in, uh... Barbie. The man who played Elf and all that. Is that like a Markiplier quote? Because I swear he played, like, or not played, but he said something like that before. Job the fun. And I'm not reading it back out, I'm good. There are some things you get to say and some moments you get to experience, but. I think I'll hold off on this one. It's weird how I'm drawing the line at feet, like, and I'm not drawing it anywhere else, like. Oh, yeah, barking on camera? Yeah, that that's alright. Wearing a maid dress? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Feet? Nah. Yeah, I can make you a, the Yoda one. I mean, if you want it, it's up to you. I don't mind. I'll add it, like, if you have the code. Like, I have a maid dress, Lamal. Like, one IRL. Because I was actually kind of thinking for like one of the, um, for like the Comic Con that's coming up soon in Ireland just to get a maid dress and just wear that. But I just, I literally just don't have the balls to wear it. Like, I don't have the balls to actually wear a maid dress to a convention. Like, because I just think I'd look shit in it. Like, I have no self confidence when like planning to cross dress. Like, but then when it comes to being a VTuber, it's different. Like, it's a VTuber model. Like, I'm not actually wearing it myself. Top hours. Yes, I'm my own top hours. Let's go. Oh, what do you... I'm an idiot. Um... Yeah, I'm assuming you have a maid dress IRL. Then it's gonna be wisdom. So... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that would make sense. Because Yoda would provide wisdom to people. Hmm... Yo, I don't want it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Got one IRL, yeah. What colour are you rocking? I am not on top hours. Aw, oh, rest in peace. It's probably my slot that's literally taking up your slot, honestly. Oh, what are you doing, Joe? Because honestly, if I were to get one myself, I'd probably just get, like, the black. Just a normal one, like... An alternative one I could do though is literally just dress up as a, like in a suit to uh, Comic Con. Just uh, pretend to look important. But I need a haircut first. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Yikes! I almost fell there. <laughs> oh well, femboy. That's pie. And that'll probably be me sometime in the future. Like, I think there is another um, thing in the future. I did say your name, yeah. Justin was calling you a fem... Or was calling me a femboy, but then I said, Oh yeah, that's you. That's pie. Oh no, it's more you like femboys, isn't it? Not really the, like, being one. Oh yeah, that is me. Yeah, yeah. And then Mr. Mango saying Pog. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself so much. Come on, Prime. Give me strength. It doesn't taste good when it's warm. I'll say that much about Prime. Just to add on to my review right now. Nice save, Joe. Oh my god, you didn't choke? No way. Like, this guy that you're watching right now actually learns from his mistakes? That's kind of cringe. Oh, actually, I just remembered there. Wait, which one? It's this one, isn't it? I didn't even think about that until now, but I can actually add more of the screen into the yoke. Um... 
Uh, wait, wait, what? Wait. I wish I could choke. What? Why? <laughs> Are you shouldn't wish like like something like that upon yourself. Oh no, I can't make you the command too many characters. If you whisper me to command, I'll take it in pieces and I'll try to implement it later when I get the chance. Um, I think there was something else I was going to do. I can't remember. I mean, I guess whilst... Nah, actually, I'll leave that alone. Yeah, no, I'll leave it there now. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot I swapped model. <laughs> Talking all about the fanboy stuff, but it's truly me who was the fanboy all along. Oh, you actually are ridiculous, Joe. You're ridiculous. You're a clown, man. Holy shit, who let the whole circus in, man? It's getting crowded with all the clownage that's going on from this one fella, like. Oh, you lovable. Ah, there we go. Over we go. Hopefully I can at least, like, reach the top tower again. Because if I can't reach the top tower, it's going to be depressing. <laughs> Yo, come on. I tell you now, it's that sewage water you're drinking, son. It's unsharpened, it's blunted your moves. Blunted. Sharpened, unsharpened. Don't know what the word is, I can't think of it. What are you doing? Please stop, please. <laughs> I'm being driven mentally insane already. And we're not even, like, haven't had dinner yet. Oh man, I'm still thinking of how full I was after, like, not being able to finish the uh, fish calamari, or not calamari, fish uh, cabanera I had yesterday. Fucking seven mussels, three prawns, bits of cod everywhere. Um, what else was there? There was a bit of, uh, not caviar, bits of, like, calamari. I think that squid isn't a calamari. A good few rings of that. Like it was it was a fish like feast, honestly. I'm glad I didn't get the uh, fish platter because that basically just had every fish they had anyway, like. But man, I felt so bad because I couldn't finish it, but it was definitely worth the price. It's like twelve quid I think for it. And I couldn't even finish it and it filled me up like. That's when you know food is good value, when you feel full after it. And when you actually enjoy eating it as well. I'm still kind of feeling the ramifications to today because I literally had like two like different sandwiches today already. Dude, we have this squid sn uh, snack in Thailand. It's so fucking good. What's it called? Because I don't have squid too often myself, but I had it just there obviously yesterday in the uh, cabanera. Or yeah, cabanera. Oh, and yeah, not to mention the actual like. Cabanera strings? Pasta strings? I don't know what you call them. Like that that was good as well. And it had like a bit of like seasoning or something on top of it as well. I don't remember what it's called, Lamal. But it's good to know then that you have like a snack that's really good. If you ever remember, just leave it down. I might look that up as well. Just to make myself uh, hungry for it. Um up we go. That still must be confusing though, the syncing kind of, yo, know, where like, I see some messages sometimes in chat before I see them on the screen, and then sometimes I see them on the screen before the chat. Just must confuse people sometimes, like, there we go, see, I knew I could do it, I believed in the heart of the cards, bro. I actually don't even think I'd ever watch you, yo, know, just because it's probably a neural long show. I don't know if I can dedicate myself to an Earl Long show. I'm already uh, in one now with uh, Better Call Saul, and I'm there for the long run. I'm like halfway through uh, season two right now, so I have like 
four seasons and a half to go. Pretty long way. And then I kind of... I'm watching Rick and Morty sometimes. Like today I watched it a little bit because I wanted to stream earlier today. So if I watched Better Call Saul, I wouldn't have been on as early as I was today. But yeah. But yeah about not playing FNAF, I actually got a, like... I know I talked about before, like, getting a new computer and stuff, but I think I actually do need to get a new computer now. Because, like, if I can't even play a game that I played, like, a few years ago on the same computer, that's a toilet or a problem, like. I saw a toilet and it broke into my sentence, like. Um, back from toilet break. Lovely. I say lovely, I don't even know why I responded lovely, but anyway. Oh, I found another snack that I love. Go ahead, if you know the name, spill it, and if you don't know the name, then, well, I guess just say you don't know the name. What's the difference between, uh, oh god, no, I don't think I like where this joke is going, to be honest with you. Ooh, that's kind of a yikes joke, I'm not gonna lie, Mr. Mango. Oh man, I might have to time you out for that one, That that's horrible. That's not a good joke. Hold on a minute. I say hold on a minute, but I'm going to be a while. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with Pi on this one, honestly. And I don't know if you know as well, like, these, like, VODs do go up on YouTube afterwards, so... Like, you know, if you're hoping that the joke would be just erased with time and only be remembered by the people who see the stream, then, yeah, it kind of just stays there. Actually, do I even still have that? I think I... Oh, you know, I probably took that out of the scroll ages ago, didn't I? Because like, I... of the whole ad policy thing. Welcome to my customizable stream. Yeah, no, I would have taken out the VODs thing because I didn't want to add... Well, quote unquote, advertise YouTube anymore. But yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I think it's only fair. Sorry, Mr. Mango. I'm gonna have to time you out for that one, because it that's like the kind of the chat rules. It's like I time you out first, give you a chance, a second chance when you come back. And if it's a repeat offense, I'm gonna have the ban. I'm sorry. Um. What you call it? I just need to look up the time real quick, because I'm always confused on. The length of time a week is. It's meant to be a week anyway. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Hold on, let me pause this real quick so I don't accidentally play like copyright music like in my thing. Um, let's see. Jeez, that's a big number for that, but it makes sense though. Uh, wait, give me a minute. No, not yet, but I am going to have to do it, unfortunately. I can't just have the rules there and not like actually enforce them. And if I don't do it, someone else is probably going to do it worse, so... I think that's it anyway. I might have gotten the command wrong, but... Sorry, Mango. I have to do it to you. Obviously, if you... Like, I do know in the Discord there is... Um, I think I added a complaint section if you want to make a complaint, but... <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't think I can revoke the, like, timeout on that one. Oh, jeez. This, this drink is horrible when it's like this. Um, give me an uno momento. That's, uh, no, there isn't an update to that. Oh my god. Thanks, lad. Just give me an uno momento. Yeah, there is... Oh no, I thought there was, wasn't there? New section. Stream fixes. I'll be under stream fixes, actually no, because I remember before, ah yeah, no, that's why I did the meme about the stream, I'll just rename that to 
edit channel complaints and feedback Ben I do at least believe in the kind of like um I do believe in second chances so like you know if you come back and you're actually sorry for it that's fair we'll move on from it you know but after that week like we'll just say uh, I'm drinking Prime, but I think I'm going to put this in the fridge till I call it. Actually, no. I'm going to get some ice. Yeah, I'm going to get some ice. I'll be back, like, in a few seconds. Right, I am returned. What's been said? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We need some non-offensive jokes. Why did the chicken cross the road? Did the chicken cross the road? For sure. <laughs> Thanks, Dream Labs. Um... I do something else. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll just do this real quick and I'll continue jumping the king. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, not even R, I'll just say maybe. Because like, I'd be kind of lying if I said R saved, because some VODs I literally just go live for like two seconds by accident. It's like, oh, well, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to archive that, so that's fair. Right. Uh, actually, I could update more about it, but I don't think I will. Oh, God, I don't even know if I like this next one either. Please, Fab. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, man. Actually, it's probably me thinking a bit dark now on that one. It probably isn't as dark as it's going to be. <laughs> Unless you want to, like, whisper the joke to me first. We don't serve your kind. Cool. Rope walks into the bar. Wait, we don't? Wait. I'm missing something, aren't I? You might have to explain the joke, like... Oh my god. Wait. Rope leaves. Twits himself up. I don't know what twits himself up means. And parts his hair and comes back. I just, uh, this one's actually flying over my head. Aren't you the same that guy that just came in? God, it's a very elaborate joke to have more than just one kind of... Well, there's usually just the one answer and thing I'm used to. Oh my god. Up we go. There we go. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, no, I, I think I kind of get it now. Because the rope itself just walks into the bar. Leave twits himself up. Or twists himself up, isn't it? And parts his hair and comes back in. Yeah, so he literally just, like, he did a different knot, didn't he? That's the joke, isn't it? <laughs> Oh god. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm afraid, uh, now. Afraid not. Oh! Fucking hell, Jesus! My brain is slow, man! <laughs> it's like the only, like, literally the emojis... <laughs> I'm afraid not. Okay. I can confirm then, Fab is not getting uh, timed out today. This is what streaming does to someone. Like, you think sometimes, like, you, like, to be honest, you could think I'm actually putting that on on purpose just because I'm streaming, but genuinely, it actually did just fly over my head. I was like, afraid not, what? What is this? Like, 
But then saying it back when you actually ex or not exclaim, but asterisk the knot, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm afraid not. Oh my god, what are you doing, Joe? My mind is a bit numb because I was like legit like yesterday from like seven o'clock in the morning to what was it seven o'clock in the morning to like a, basically ten o'clock I was like outside no wait no sorry half seven to ten because I was again out yesterday working watching two films and then even this morning I couldn't even rest in because I, I have to get up, I have to go and get that prime whilst it's available, like. Okay. Uh, what's the difference between a light bulb and a pregnant woman? I think I've heard of this one before, but go ahead. I think this one's safe. Oh! <laughs> you can't unscrew... Where you can unscrew a light bulb, you can't unscrew a woman. Nah. It's true though, that's why they warn about wearing protection and stuff like that. If you're not careful, you know. Oh, Jesus. What? Wait. Chainsaws were invented for childbirth. God, that's fucking terrifying. You get, like, a C-section with a fucking chainsaw, like. And then they're like, oh, what if we just use this shit on trees, like. And then people with axes were like, absolutely, please. It takes us all day to try and chop down a tree. I don't know why I know this, but I do. Honestly, with the amount of time I've spent on the internet, I probably know some weird facts that I just don't remember right now. I think everybody does as well. We all know those like some like weird little facts that just no one else knows right now. Or well, not anyone close to us knows, and they'd be surprised if we said it like just like I was surprised with the whole chainsaw being invented for like childbirth, like. The only, the only alternative is to cut off the partner's, like, yeah, and prevent that. But yeah, no, I could not imagine that. Like, obviously, it would have to be more of a medical, like, chainsaw than the current chainsaw we think about right now. But yeah, no, I, I don't want to think about that too much. Jesus Christ, that's a bit graphic. My imagination is unfortunately a bit vivid, so I do see a lot of detail in my, uh, thoughts. I say that, but then I couldn't even come up or, like, understand the frayed not joke, like. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. I am... A bit sad, actually, that I still can't, uh, do thing, but hey, you know what? At least I have the bank holiday on, uh, two Mondays from now. And then afterwards, um, whatchamacallit, I think it was like, you know, that same week, there's something going on in a town, like it's where I think one of the, um, whatchamacallit, one of the One Direction members was born, I, I think it was, they were born in like Mullingar, and it's like, Something's happening there, and like apparently, like a lot of people are going to it and stuff. So I'm like, oh, why not? I might actually travel there, see what it's like over there, you know? See what the place is like. Cause it's meant to be kind of like a festival kind of thing or something like that. So I probably won't be here like on uh, one of the days during the bank holiday uh, weekend or after the bank holiday weekend. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, my fanboy ass went to a rock festival. <laughs> Not worth it. Oh my god, I, fa I have fallen and I cannot get- Well, I can get back up, but I just choose not to get back up. 
doesn't sound like a good experience then with you saying like um not worth it that's a shame though because my friend has uh gone to like concerts and stuff before and says great experience and all that i guess it just depends who you bump into and who you meet and stuff like the entire ground was shaking ah oh, so you didn't really like that did you nah This fella is actually going to try and complete Jump King, no way. You told me, like, he was going to complete Jump King. I didn't think he'd spend, like, 13 odd streams, like, trying to do so. Yikes, that's bad, Joe. Now I can get, uh. <laughs> yeah, no. I guess it is kind of scary. Because, like, you kind of synonymize uh, the ground shaking with an earthquake, like. If that's even the right word. Oh, no, it's grand. I'm just choosing not to read them on purpose. For a comedic effect. And plus, the stream already has the tag on, so it should be fine. glad like my, I do kind of think I should just try the other like prime flavor now but honestly it's not moving from my fridge it's gonna stay there like it'll be grand <laughs> imagine no imagine if somebody stalked me on the way home with those like prime bottles in hand and they're just literally waiting till tonight to come in and rob them like that would be the saddest thing that to ever happen oh why did you rob that guy's house uh, yeah he had like two of these uh bottles of prime from these two influencers online that would not go down well in prison. So you're telling me I did this, this, and this, but you got this sentence because you robbed, not even robbed somebody's house of money, but you robbed them because of a drink? Yes, yeah, sir. Anyway, I'm going to be staying on tonight. Just <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not actually going to stream tonight. I think tonight I need a, another good bit of sleep. Because I ha actually slept decently last night, but... I think I still need a bit more sleep because my head's still a bit... Well, not, my head's not bad, it's just I can still kind of feel the after effects of yesterday. In my head. Being active for as long as I was yesterday is... Uh, it's nice though, it's different. I'd never seen like two films back to back ever, like before. So even just doing it once as an experience was cool. Okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna just see if I can... Ah, oh, you dumbass, Joe. Um... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Pokemon Sleep said that I got 8 hours. But did you get 8 hours, though? Is it actually accurate? Uh, why did you take CD out? Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, because I was rewriting the commands. Um... Let me put that back in. I'll get rid of top and put CD there instead. I could put more, but I don't like the title being extremely long. Even though I could actually do it, but... Yeah, Walter. Drink the bottle of Prime, Walter. You gotta do this sponsorship, Walter. I need to take care of Kaylee, Walter. You don't understand this, Walter. I actually care for my grandchild. Not like you, when you were kids. Yikes, 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 yikes. <laughs> I, I, ironically, I love that meme so much. Walter. I'm gonna have sex with you, Walter. And then Walter just has a good time. I'm not gonna replicate what Walter like, says after that line, but yeah. Man, I love that one clip though of how fucking mortified, like fucking 
Marie was or something like that. And then Skylar's just there, just calm, well, not calm, but like just basically frozen, like. I think, like, the actual actor for Walters might be a decent guy. Because even my parents had, like, heard of him and, like, um... They haven't, like, watched Breaking Bad or anything like that, because it's not their kind of show to watch, but... They said they don't mind the actor that plays as, uh, Walter, anyway. Wait, isn't couldn't I technically not really spoil Oppenheimer because like Oppenheimer is actually like a historical moment in time, so that means it's been out like for fucking how many like decades? Probably like nearly a century, and like you still don't know the plot to Oppenheimer, bro. No way. Uh, watch the over. Oh, let me try and not fall. Challenge extremely hard. Uh, watch the Burger King ad, but it's Walter White's confession. Oh my god, I've seen a few AI generated ones anyway, where it's like Walter setting up his own, um, like, baking business and all that. Like, I watch a lot of AI stuff offline. I don't like to put AI stuff in the forefront of stuff, but I do, like, enjoy watching a lot of it in my off time. Because I know, especially with, like, um, with art and all that, like, it's a bit of a messy subject, like... Even though for someone like me, it's, it doesn't really matter because, like, half the time when you react to something, you're just reacting to what's there. Like, you, it's not like I am purposely, like, you know, if it was in a montage, like, you just get thing. Oh, my God. Actually, I might watch that real quick. And I'll let the audio play for that. Actually, let me just open this first. What was that? Oh my god. Oh, it's... Is it like... It's gonna be like Walto or no... Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, I got Mr. Beast dad. Let's go. Hold on, guys. We, we gotta see Mr. Jimmy Beast, like, advertising. Watch this. Look, it's Mr. Beast on an ad. Next 30 seconds, I'm gonna show you how to start a business on Shopify. Go really? to Shopify.com and sign up for your free trial. That was so easy. Find okay. a product to sell. Upload your picture of the socks. Okay, no, wait. You can't just tell me to sell your socks. That's, uh, that's infringing on something, Jimmy. You can't, you can't, you can't just tell me to sell your socks, like, find something. Okay, uh, Prime Bottle, there we go, we're gonna sell that now. And design your store however you want. Oh, this is sick. And now it's not as easy as this, I can almost guarantee that. There, there are layouts, but, like, if you don't customize it yourself and make it look good, then it probably won't be as good, like. I'll just copy the link, and boom, I Wait, actually, did I, I didn't just do a thing, did I? Wait. No, we're good, Okay. <laughs> Nothing oh, incriminating. Okay. It's oh, then I accidentally just open up the fucking profile tab and show my email. It's literally right. My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. This is my confession. If you're watching this tape. Oh shit, sorry, I'm watching a time speed. I've ruined the video. Probably dead murdered by my brother in law, Hank Schreider. <laughs> Hank has been building a meth empire for over a year now. Wait, shit, is the music copywritten? Nope, doesn't have copyright and claim. using me as his chemist. Shortly after my 50th birthday, he asked that I use my chemistry knowledge to cook methamphetamine, which he would then sell using connections that he made through his career with the mm. DEA. I yeah. was astounded. I, <laughs> I always thought Hank was a very moral man, and I was particularly vulnerable at the time, something he knew and took advantage of. I was reeling from a cancer my. diagnosis that was poised to bankrupt my family. Hank took me in on a ride along and showed me just how much money even a small meth operation could make. And I was weak. I didn't want my family to go into financial ruin, so I agreed. Hank had a I love how it's just... Oh, oh, there we Hank go. Hank sold me into servitude to this man. 
And when I tried to quit, <laughs> Fring threatened my family. I didn't know where oh, to turn. Jesus Eventually, man. Hank and Fring had a falling out. Things escalated. Fring Bro, it's still Fring, going? Uh, I guess, I guess you call it a hit on Hank <laughs> and failed, but Hank was seriously injured. And I wound up paying his medical bills, which amounted to a little over 177,000 bombs. Upon recovery, Hank was bent on revenge. Working with a man named Hector Salamanca, he oh plotted God. to kill Frank. Stop. <laughs> Just... The bomb that he used was built by me, and he gave me no option in it. Yes. I have often contemplated suicide, but I'm a coward. I wanted to go to the police, but I was frightened. Hank had risen to become the head of the Albuquerque DEA. To keep me in line, he took my children. For three months, he kept them. My wife. Can I, can I just actually I'll let the rest of it no play first, and I'll talk about it. Activities and was horrified to learn what I had done. I was in hell. I hated myself for what I had brought upon my family. Recently, I tried once again to quit, and in response, he gave me this. I can't take this. <laughs> he gave me this anymore. And the burger I, I just plays again. Every day that Hank will kill me or worse, hurt my family. All I could think to do was to make this video and hope that the world will finally see this man for what he really is. <laughs> no, I'm not actually gonna watch it, but like, I still can't believe he actually did that though. Like, some of the shit, like, when Walter started to really become Heisenberg, you can probably call it something like that. Like, some of those moments, man, just, oh, wow. He actually is doing this now against, like, people he knows and just manipulating people and all. It's just madness. God, man. Oh, yeah, let me just turn that back down a bit. I'm expecting music, but I forgot I have to go up now to get music. Brother. I think I smell bleach and it's putting me off. Because the bathroom's literally just across from me, so like I can smell it easily through the door. I should wait. Windows open and all. That's probably why. Oh, I, hate, I hate the smell so much. I'd be so bad at working in a position of like cleaning the bathrooms. So janitor Joe, you'd be bad at a janitor. Yeah. There we go. Hi boys, how's it going? You have to get that, like, third last jump, like, just right, or else you just fall all the way down. <clears throat> Not too much. Yikes. Oh, kind of make me a bit nauseous, I can't lie. Yeah, I'll be honest, there's not very much I can do about it. I've just put blue tag back on my keyhole again, but I think I could still feel a draft at the side of the doors as well, so. That just shows how secure my door is to its door frame. Ah, man. I really do hope we move out soon. Because we're still, like, waiting about the hear the news back and what's the story about it. And I hope, obviously, I can still stream as well. Hopefully, the internet just doesn't completely die or something like that and get worse. Because that's, like, kind of my worst nightmare right now. Like, I get a new, like, place to live, but in exchange, I can't, like, stream anymore. Because I've genuinely loved streaming, honestly. And obviously, if I didn't, I wouldn't be here right now. Sorry. Wish I also like actually learned how to drive. 
Because, like, you don't... You, you really don't realize how limited you are with jobs until, like... Like, getting a new job when you don't have a car. It's very limiting, like. So that's why if you ever get the opportunity, just take it, like. Even just get a license. Just say you have a license. Oh my god, no. Thank you. I'm actually so tempted to put a mask on, like. Again, I don't do well with, like, bleach and stuff like that. Like, someone in our workplace used, like, a lot of bleach to clean a lot of uh, stuff out because it needed to be done. And, I, like, when I stood near it, I just was not feeling good, like. At least, again, I have the window open. Actually, you know what I should do as well? There we go. I, sorry, again, sorry if the fan's on, like, and you can hear that, but... It may be better for me to just blow some of the air around. Oh, my God. God, I... The only thing I really hate about the Barbie movie was at the end, like, when they used the remix of the song. I just thought that was so bad. <laughs> like, it's just me. I don't really like the song myself. Duco Salamanca. Uh, what else has happened? Haven't exercised too much. Haven't made progress in Sherry Arbor's story. Still don't know when the preview is meant to go out. I think I'll, I'll just wait till tomorrow to see if they still need a little bit more time to register it. But if they don't, then I'm actually going to have to look into why it's not being uploaded. So I want to try and get it out before, well, not even before uh, August, but I guess before the end of August at this point. But I can't guarantee it'll come out at all. If it doesn't register itself now. Like, Google Books is literally my last hope right now. Because if it's... Well, not even last hope. It's just my current hope. But, like, Amazon is a bit weird with the way they do things. There was another website I was trying, but they were also weird with how they do things. So it's just, like, one last... Well, not one last place, but... Google has been the best one so far. At least we're providing me with confidence that I can actually give people a preview of the book to read, like. Oh my god. I might just have to check all the settings again, just to make sure it's all good. And then once that's out, I can actually be happy that it's finally out. You don't read books. I honestly don't even doubt you, to be honest. Like, even though I am writing a light novel series, like, I don't actually, like, read any books now. Like, I, I have read a little bit, but I couldn't force myself to get into the habit of reading books. Um, and I think it's literally schools fall for that, honestly. Like, schools have you, like, have books all the time, and it just isn't good. Like, they don't actually teach you, like, the value of, like, having a book and all that, and reading a book and all that sort of shit, like... Yeah. But then again, you don't necessarily have to read books nowadays anyway. There's audiobooks, there's even just like Reddit and Twitter posts and all that where they're just like, if someone goes on a rant, you're just reading all that shit. Like, there should be a way to rent books for free online instead of in person. Yeah. I'm surprised no one's done that yet. And then uh, have to get the book, uh, the book get auto returned, yeah. I feel like it is possible, it's just, again, nobody's really thought of it, because I wonder, well, I mean, the book market must be big enough if books still are around, but, uh, because, I mean, if I look at my shelf right now, the amount of manga and, like, light novels I have is ridiculous. If you said even, at the minimum, right, every book's 10 euro, let's just say that. That's 60, 110, 50, 60, 70, 90, uh, 200, 
So 390 euros worth of books on my shelf plus, should I say, because a lot of them didn't actually cost 10. A lot of them were like multi-offers and a lot of them are just dear than 10 euro, but that's how much of that I have on my shelf. And now that I've done out the maths there, that's kind of weird to think about. <laughs> just a section of my shelf is literally just 300 euro. Um, yeah. Oh, what are you doing? At least I tried that way, but... Um, I'd really like to bring some of the books though to like a rental place that's, or something like that at some point. It'd be nice to get some money back off of the books, but if I can't then I'll probably just give them to a charity shop or something. Especially because like if I do move like at the, either at the end of next year or the end of this year or middle of uh, next year. I don't want to bring everything that I have currently to like the new house. I want to leave a lot of stuff behind honestly. I feel like clothes will be the hardest to leave behind because I have like so many clothes like um, that I've just had for a long time. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Why? What was the point in that? I guess your mom didn't like you when you were a kid, Jesus. Sir. But um, yeah, no, I'd like to leave stuff behind and all that sort of shit. So even like when it comes to the boxes for the anime figures, I might actually just. I might commit sacrilege and actually like tear them up like and just throw them in the bin. <laughs> I already did it to the BB-8 box like when I first bought the BB-8 like years before I bought the anime figure so why not. And plus it's taken up like a whole storage box of space like. I know I could probably resell it for more in the future if I keep certain parts but like fuck it. One of the figures is already technically broken anyway because her hair like can fall out like. So it's already lost its value anyway. The only reason I still have the box is because it's like a really old like um, figure I don't think they do anymore. Nah, I say that, but they probably do, like that's why I got it at the convention, but yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but note to self, never get an anime figure from the convention. You never know how damaged the figure is. Because like, I can't just ask for a refund on the current character. I don't know, I think it's kind of charming though as well. Like I can literally just pull her ponytail out and she's suddenly just different. Now with interchangeable hairstyles. Brother. Um. God, I, yeah, I went on a long rant, didn't I? Which is, I realized that there, I was like, wait, what was I talking about? Again? It's like books and stuff and then moving house, leaving stuff. I know for a fact as well. Like, if we're told we're moving, I am scanning this entire room. Everything that leaves through my, like, bedroom door is literally gonna go through, like, basically a metal detector. Like, my door will become a metal detector. I'm like, nothing passes through that door unless I've inspected it, like. There's probably a lot of shit I've held on to that I still don't need. And I haven't done a kind of, like, big, like, clean in a while. And every time I do one of these big cleans, like, I always, like, throw something out. Like, I don't keep everything. I love that at one point I was going for, like, minimalism and not owning much items. And now I'm kind of just... I'm kind of stuck in the middle ground. <laughs> Where it's like, I, can't, I don't mind minimalism, but I don't mind having a few things as well. I mean, actually, the last thing I dumped was all my woodwork projects from school. I just lost the sentimental value towards them, honestly. And I feel like holding on to them forever is just me. I'll remember them. I still have the videos of them anyway. Well, somewhere. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, let me just take a quick swig of water. Because I just left the Prime downstairs in the fridge. I'm just... She's not really in, even really bothered to finish it right now. <laughs> like... No, we're good. Why do you do that every Why are you in a rush? Like, I actually don't understand my mindset and why I'm in a rush for. What are you doing? Am I 
have to bring that prime bottle back up the stairs to <laughs> destroying a prime bottle live on stream. Oh my god. Right. There we go. Try not to cry, Oh my fucking god. Honestly, the word challenge has actually been sullied because of TikTok. Especially with all the load of stupid shit that arises on it, like. Bro, come on. You're better than this. I know, okay. I don't know it anymore. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who's playing the game anymore. Dun, 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 Are you okay? Joe, what's on your mind? I guess I was just surprised when like she recognized us. Then again, I am like... I am my mate's mate. Yeah, that's right, actually. That's all there is to say about that. Just a little inner thought coming out. And I've been coming out of my gate and I've been doing just fine God, I wanna be down because I want it all I started out with a kiss, I didn't have a lie There was only a kiss Fuck Oh, that's right, that's And now we're in the slog This is gonna be the worst part of the stream now It's literally just me attempting the same shit over and over and failing at it How do I even do that? How do I bump off nothing? There you go. Come on. Think. Rhythm. Put yourself in the rhythm. You don't hear the rhythm, you feel this one. Fuck. At least I can get back up. At least, well, for now. Oh, no. I mean, honestly, even just being able to land there is fine. And give this a nurse shot. You are actually such a lovable guy. I love you so much, man. There you go. That's it. Don't stop me now, because I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball, don't stop me now If you wanna have a good time Just give me a call, don't stop me Fuck I'm having such a good time, I don't wanna stop at all I actually have been thinking I should actually get some vocal lessons Maybe some singing lessons so I can actually finally put my voice to good use I do like singing, but I'm just bad at it. Like, I'm like I, I can't. I don't know how to auto tune properly because my lecturer was like adamant against teaching us auto tune. So, I guess it sucks to be me. I actually had a thought though as well. What if I just like 
what if I just went on Eleven Labs, gave them like samples of my voice, and then asked it to sing songs? That that's like a weird ground. I don't think we've reached yet now. Like people using their own voice to sing songs, or AI generate their own like singing voice. That'd be so weird. I kind of want to do that actually. <laughs> just do that like right now. I can't remember how much a subscription to Eleven Labs is. Because you need to, like, subscribe to their servers to be able to avail of that. Yikes. There we go. I'd love to do something like that and then eventually just learn how to sing myself. And then I could just... I'd literally be able to sing side by side with my AI self. <laughs> uh, then we just need... Ah, no, I wouldn't even AI generate music because... I don't know, because I, mm, well, I mean, I can kind of make music, but if I actually took, like, the initiative to actually, like, make a song properly and not skimp out on things, like, I could actually make a song with my, like, music knowledge that's still in my head. I just want a better setup, that's really it, for making music. Especially if I'm recording vocals, I'd probably have to do a bit more tuning with uh, the microphone to make it better. And then musicians lose their jobs. Yeah, technically, yeah. It, it just depends, I guess, as well. The AI, like, AI kind of stuff is still... It's, uh, well, it's not really... I guess it is being clamped down a little bit. But I mean, like, the most interesting AI shit is, like... The stuff where people make stuff for memes for fun, and even just, um, Neurosama. How, like, she's just meant to be a whole AI VTuber and all that. Oh my god. And then some gas shit that just comes out, like, from that. And I think the way Vidal acts as well towards her also, like, <laughs> brings a bit of, like, um, human input character to stream and all that. Because he's kind of just, like, he doesn't sound like he's arsed half the time to deal with her, like. Or at least from the clips I've seen. I could just call my uh, AI version of myself as well, just Vocaloid. You know, when the, when somebody has a good good voice, though, they'll outshine AI currently anyway. If we ever reach a day where AI can sing as beautifully as a person, then that's going to be a very troublesome, like. So just listening to um someone performing, like, in this unstable world live... I say someone, but the voice actor who voices the character. And the way she just sang the parts as well was just so good. I wish I could play it, but obviously it's copywritten, but like... I don't know. There's some people's voices where like, if you hit your notes right, I will actually tear. Like, I will shed tears. Of just joy. That's why, I t again, I talk about Oppenheimer having good sound design and all that. Because like, I'm kind of like a sound nerd now. Ever since going through it in college, I understand what it means to have good sound and bad sound, good soundtrack, bad soundtrack. It, of course, all opinionated as well. I couldn't actually say, well, objectively this isn't good and objectively this is bad. Whatever, like, rattles my bones, I'll let it be known. That's why, like, when I heard, like, um, this was, like, way, this was probably a few years ago when I first heard Iron Mouse sing. I was like, what the fuck? That's not her. What the fuck? Why is her voice, like, so good, like? Yeah, it's gonna be a tricky future, anyway, to see how AI goes. Especially with the whole, um... Well, as in Hollywood right now, writers are fighting back against people using uh, AI to write scripts and stuff. I mean, at that point, Hollywood might as well, because half the shit that comes out of it is garbage anyway. Like, I'm all here for the Bollywood stuff now. <laughs> Man, I, I love that clip, though, from um, a Bollywood film where it's like, uh, like, over-editing. It was just so gas, like... Someone in turn, or not some intern, but like someone inside just learned of uh, Sony Vegas and were like, Bro, look at all these templates for like effects. 
Watch this one. I do believe though, at least like, when there is an offset of people losing jobs, there's probably something else that will be created that can supplement the role. Even though it does kind of look grim that there's not going to be much, but honestly right now we're probably just not thinking of a simple thing that can fix a lot of um, AI taking over for jobs and all that right now. I mean, tell someone like what 20, 30 years ago that there's going to be this like free share, like video sharing platform called YouTube, and it was going to dominate the world, like in terms of video sharing. They probably laugh at your face, and be like, "How do they make it free? Shouldn't they be making people pay?" I'm optimistic, at least it probably will be a solution. To all that sort of stuff. Hopefully. <laughs> Just hopefully. I feel like with farming though, you can kind of have like, you can have the like farming jobs that are mainly just robots doing it. And then you can just have like good old fashioned like human farming uh, produce. Because like there are some people that would probably prefer to eat from like stuff that's made by people rather than robots. Even though technically we do eat a lot of stuff now that's also made by robots too, but... You know what I mean? It's like... It's kind of... Not organic, but it's like... Orga... I don't know. In a controlled environment where it's always sunny. That might fuck around with food a lot in the future, but... Again, we're going again, we're going to see like the long-term effects. I'm waiting for the day when we get like lab... Um, what do we call it? Lab-grown meat, man. If we get like lab grown meat, man, that's gonna be a mad game changer. Like, or I say, if it's more commercialized. Because we can actually like stop like the, um. We can actually turn to stop like, uh. Like slaughtering of animals and all that sort of shit. And then like 20 or 30 years after it like becomes commercialized, people are gonna be like, bro, wait, you used to kill animals to like eat them? Like, that's weird. Uh, but then obviously the lab grown meat thing kind of grows into a weird thing upon itself where it's like, wait, can you just grow like human meat? Like, is that going to be like a new black mar I like market item? Like, what the fuck? That would be scary though. Or what if we clone food? If we outright clone, started cloning things, that would be disastrous. Like, obviously there must be some like material you have to put in to get the cloning output, but like, yeah, that's going to be... That's going to be a mad issue if that ever occurs in our time. But then we are going to have too many cows. I think over time though, like, um, like the population will decrease. We'll probably have to, like, it's a sad thing to say, but we're probably going to have to, like, um, obviously not, like, completely cull them and just, <laughs> just kill every single animal on the planet, but, like, let the numbers of the animals dwindle over time. And obviously control that. Like, don't make them go extinct, just cut down the amount of animals that need to be, like, um, alive that's not on extinction level, like. And then another question is, like, what the fuck do we even do with the animals afterwards? I'm assuming we just let them free, or do we just add them to the fucking zoo collection, like? And here you have what used to be in your burger. A cow. That is gonna be just, that, again, that's gonna be weird if that happens in my lifetime. Or our li lifetime, should I say? Um, I do know it will definitely cause a lot of problems. It will fix some problems, like well, not fix, fix, but like I know part of global warming is literally like cows just farting all the time, and it's just meant to be destroying like the atmosphere as well as us polluting it. But um, you know, it's gonna be weird because. A lot of fields going forward then are going to be so, like, the grass is going to grow so much if there's, like, fuck all animals to eat it all up, like. We're going to have more people on lawn lawnmower jobs, like, or more, like, opportunities for lawnmowers to do their thing. I'm 
hoping anyway there will be a lot of offsets and onsets of jobs. What else is there now? Imagine you get swarmed by chicken like it's an ocarina of time. I think I've seen a clip of that before. Like, I haven't played the game, but I've seen a clip of Link um, getting chased by chickens. You're just out walking and chickens are like, Bro, what? why are you guys not eating us anymore? This is so weird. And obviously a lot of the businesses that do like slaughter animals to, you know, put meat in the market like that, a lot of them are going to have to change up their ways. Because it's like, oh wait, we can't do this as much anymore? Shit. I guess for them though, they'd be switching to try and make like lab grown meat as well. So I mean, being a business and not adapting to your market is like a bad idea. It's always a bad idea. But when you adapt to the mark, you have to adapt to it right as well, or else you'll fall off. God, I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I was thinking randomly about how, like, evil Nestle are, and, like, how they, like, legitimately, I think it was, like, the CEO was saying at one point, they wanted to, like, actually charge tax on people for breathing air or something like that and I was like huh what H how how are you going to regulate this who the fuck is going to pay for breathing in air oh my wait no that actually reminded me as well I swear there was like a chair um ages ago I don't know how long ago this was but it was showing like um, make like hu like food uh, like basic human right and it was literally just like a few places that said no to it sorry Mr. Beast I'm going to have to skip this out sorry can you stop talking Mr. Beast thank you I want to open the images um, make food a human right chat That's it, right here. Man, just look at this shit, man. This here, right? Like, look, look, look UN vote to make food a right. I don't know, again, this might be just a meme, but if this is not a meme, that's just like, bro, what? The right to adequate food is realized every alone in the community others has economic access at all times to adequate food or means for its uh, procurement. And then it's literally just like, America is just like, red. Alaska, red, because that's America as well. And then, like, somewhere here in Africa is just like, uh, undecided, essentially. Didn't vote. And then, that's Israel, isn't it, as well? That's like, yeah, two against. Um. Oh, yeah, like, all of Africa, yeah. Because, I mean, like, oh, it's just... Yeah. I do think, like, at the bare minimum, even if it's, like, the most dog shit food, everyone should have, like, access to, like, some bit of food, like. And then, obviously, if something's, like, harder to make, then, you know, yeah. Why didn't DRC get a vote of all places? I don't know where that is, but I'm assuming there must be a reason for it. Um... Oh, yeah, and th this is the meme, isn't it? Yeah, a friendly reminder that when the United Nations voted to declare food a human right, there was exactly one country in the world that voted against it, USA. It said one, but here it's showing two, so I don't know what the story is. Um, Oh, no, it just said... Oh, sorry, my head's covering it. It didn't vote. So, like, they had the option to vote, but they just didn't vote. Democratic Republic of the uh, Congo, yeah. Hey, and that one shows it as well. That's just weird to think about, though. Like, how unanimous the world is, and then it's just, like, legitimately, like, two places that said no, and one just didn't even vote, like. And how old is that? I wonder... If I go, I'm just gonna go into Reddit real quick. I know, I'm kind of getting dirty here now. Three months ago? That's actually not long ago. 
2021. There it is. I thought that maybe in the 60s. Happened an hour ago. Uh, I'm getting into a thread. I'm not going to read the rest of that. Uh, do that. Do this. Okay. Wait, okay, this is... So, the reason, according to this, if I'm summarizing this right, essentially, they said no to making food a human right because Israel would... Wait, Israel or Iran? I think it was Iran. Hold on. So they they can't do food sanctions against other countries. That's yeah, that's mainly it. Yeah. So they can't do food sanctions against other countries if it's a basic human right. Damn, that's kinda horrible. Trying to pivot now for a second here to a nurse subject. It's actually, I forgot to even talk about this as well. Apparently, like, um... Actually, let me just watch the video real quick. A little lesson in meme culture. Oh, actually, let, let's watch... I don't know why I'm watching this together, or why I'm not watching this with us right now. Hold on. Let me just put it there. David Grush, a former American intelligence oh, official. Yes, sorry, let me slow it down as well. There you go. ...told a congressional hearing that the US government has collected and attempted to reverse engineer crashed UFOs, now often referred to as UAPs, and has also found non-human beings. The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Gotcha. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> this guy, Look this at guy saw eat. Here's some sh Naturally, this explosive information has received a ton of international attention, culminating in thousands of memes spreading reactions across the <laughs> internet. Grush claims biologics came with some of the recovered spacecraft, which hints at the idea that the government is holding alien bodies hidden away from the general public for years. It's a conspiracy theory that goes back many decades. Kind of dope that this might be the profound uh, revelation in human history and I'm hearing it on the toilet and immediately scrolling past to look at something funnier. So to hear a former official talk about it in an earnest manner is pretty Man. wild. That being said, skepticism of this... The US government when everyone falls for the UFO and aliens distraction. ...confession abounds, as the man admits he has not seen these things with his own eyes. He just says that he's gathered the information by talking to others, and as such it is difficult to prove it without him sharing photographic or video evidence. He says that he was informed, in the course of his official duties, of a multi-decade UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program, to which he was denied access. Whether or not the truth is easily determined doesn't matter, however, as the internet loves UFO <laughs> and alien memes, and of course a good old-fashioned government conspiracy beat-up. The idea that the government is hiding something big just seems to- UFOs are unidentified, but I can identify them. They are UFOs. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of weird when you think about that. Oh, man, look at that. Very true here. It's just like, a photo lit from literally 1850, and then every conspiracy theory video. Like, there's never clear footage, like, never is. ...to be too tempting to pass up, especially with the millions across the world who oh fanatically follow alien life and UFOs. This ultimately culminates in billions of memes, not only... Me trying to impress the aliens after getting captured in video. ...supporting this idea, but also satirizing and ridiculing it, pushing the thought that there is other life out there into the mainstream. After all, moments like Grush being recognized on mainstream media lend a certain authority to his words, even if he isn't able to strictly prove what he is saying. And as such, there is, of course, many artists <laughs> online who are willing to play with the exposed <coughs> hearing. The exact same thing happened when the Pentagon released video footage of unidentified aerial phenomena in 2021, as plenty of people made fun of it whilst others took it very seriously. Plus, who could forget the intense hold the 2019 storming of Area 51 oh had on the world? It I forgot about that. The fucking Area 51 shit that happened ages ago. I think one woman did actually cross, like, 
through the border, but then, like, I, don't, I can't remember how the story ended, but I don't think she was ever seen again, like. Provided endless entertainment online for many, many months, and footage of the huge festival is still available today. Not only those who were interested in aliens apparently. and actually seeing UFOs involved, but millions joined in online and made light of the prospect of actually meeting extraterrestrial life. I mean, honestly, with how quick the internet runs, I'm not surprised that we do kind of forget some of this shit, like, honestly. Like, even if it's big and important. Oh yeah, it's World War III, yeah, that was like yesterday. Ultimately, the question of whether or not we are truly alone in this universe is one of the biggest puzzles humanity faces, and as such it makes sense that would reflect that in our rapid production and consumption of visual edits and clips known as memes. What meme would- What year was it again? The... Fifth grade? I don't know what year that would be, because I don't know American or thin grades. I, sh I assume America, I apologize. Um... Area 51 grade year. Three years ago. Hold on. 2019? That's like four years ago. That's so... I thought it was in the 2020s. And I actually do remember watching that as well, the Mr. Beast video. 2019, yeah. Unless it's 2018 when it happened. There's Daily Dose of it. Oh, this is... Wait, this is what I was on about. Hold on. Wait. Hello, Hello everyone. Well, this, this is your, your Daily, Daily Dose, Dose of, of Internet. Internet. Just give me a minute. Oh, it's at the start. Hold on. This woman walked through the main entrance into Area 51, and nobody really cared. Don't do it! Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my god. Imagine oh, this no. one year later. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yep, she's just gone. Good luck! She might make it to the other gate on the other side. <laughs> make oh it my to god. the other gate. Law she enforcement won't. was standing right there and watched her do it. The reason why security isn't too worried is because there's 10 miles of empty space between the main gate and Area 51. That's why, yeah. That's why, like, I was thinking she'd probably die if she actually, like, walked the whole way. They probably were keeping an eye on her, and if she did faint or something, they probably would have picked her up and just <laughs> drove her back at the very least, like. Um, oh, yeah, oh, fucking 2020 COVID, yeah. It wouldn't have happened then, would it? Like, nobody would have actually thought to fucking, quote-unquote, raid Area 51, like. Um... There's something else I've seen just there, actually. Let me see it real quick. Daily Dose of Internet always puts it, the title clip at the start. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? I just realized that now. Oh, actually, let me just... Because it does make sense. You advertise the video having the clip, so... Where is it? Baby discovers glitch in the matrix. Let me just double check this. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. Yeah, no, it's the first clip as well. He actually is, yeah. And, like, fella actually does get his permission as well for getting all the clips and even buys them as well. Um, If you film a video and think it's good enough to be featured in you can submit a unit thing. You're personally filmed if you're not 18. You have a parent guidance signed for you. And then there's daily of internet.com. Yeah. They seem like a pretty chill guy anyway. How do we even get... <laughs> we got on this tangent somewhere. Uh, da, da, da. <coughs> nah, I'm good. Right, that up. And then back to pain. Yeah, hopefully I do reach it today. Even just like a like reaching it a little bit, like. Oh. I think the prime drink sabotaged me. <laughs> Again, really, stream ops? Thank you. I literally asked that question earlier as well, and it said, "Fuck no!" Like, you don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault. It's eight balls' fault for cementing my uh. Watch my car cementing my stream for today. If eight ball says it's tang, it's tang. 
There's no taking that away. At the very least, I can try and reach back up here to the halted ruins. Yikes. This fella actually said yikes and ironically. Yikes. <laughs> just say the one thing I'm calling out on purpose, just for the comedic effect. I love the way legit I was like, oh, these two weeks I might be doing this and this, and then I was like, well, I ended up just not doing them. At first it was like, oh, I'm going to play Destiny 2 Solstice, played it literally offline. Oh, I'm going to play like Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, uh, Ruin DLC. PC can't run it anymore, essentially. Even at the lowest settings, like. Guess all you can do is prove it's lying now. Oh, eight ball, yeah. Wait, so what was the uh Oh, personal best to stream. Okay, so I have to get <laughs> I have to get a personal best. That's gonna be another eight hours like. So it won't be this stream. It'll be a stream afterwards. Oh, excuse me. I literally just can't eat anything right now. That fish carbonara fucked me up yesterday. Oh my god. Thank you. Eek, that's not good. Bro. Too much. Oh, too little. I haven't done that jump in a while, it feels like, so I'm probably going to fuck it up a lot. Nah, too much. She wasn't expecting that much, that's why she said it was too much. Oh, hold on. And jump all the way. Jump all the way. Oh yeah, I could have jumped back, I just realized as well, but I risked it instead. Right, jump over to here. Jump against that. Leap of fate. Uh, which way was it again? This way. Oh, that's kind of cringe. I don't like that. I don't like cringe. Walter. Stop fucking up the jumps, Walter. They're piss easy, Walter. No, it's not all the way. Fuck. Okay. I had the right idea, though. I just didn't execute it. Cheers. What am I doing? Wait, I do, I do. Oh, yeah, because I didn't move back, that's why. My brain literally went on autopilot there. The screen was blurred, like, my vision wasn't too focused, like. Actually, I think I can turn off the fan now. I only had it on just so I wouldn't smell the smell of bleach.
Thank you. The yikes. Oh wow, it's getting warm. To be fair, it's almost 20 degrees today. But it's also like really muggy as well. It's just like it's just like rain and it's just like it's like bad weather, but like good weather at the same time. What are you doing? Skylar? Walt, please, just please hear me out, please. Fuck's sake. <gasps> Thank you. Now watch me fuck up. I need to move back more for that. You absolutely lovely individual of a human being. Oh no, stop. We're... I was going to say we're stuck in a time loop, but that actually kind of... Well, at least I broke the time loop. Honestly, if I was actually ever in a time loop, I probably would just lie to people and say, nah, I was probably just crazy, don't mind me. so close to greatness. That's why I'm so annoyed at myself. We we're so close to greatness. We were so close to greatness. Actually, now that I think about it, my mate was saying that, like, he tried Prime before, and um, he said he prefers it, like, over Powerade. Um, if I were to compare, from what I remember from Powerade, nah, actually, I think it's best if I actually tried Power uh, Powerade again. I haven't had that in, like, years. It's not really a drink I just pick up every day, like. As much as like, I like to think I wasn't in, like, Oh my god. Really? As much as I don't think of myself being affected by the prime craze too much, I actually have. Like, when you actually take a step back, I have. I've made a video title on it now, or a stream title of it. have made a thumbnail as well. Thumbnails. Planning stuff around prime. I've fallen victim to it now. And I may have also fallen victim to the hype. Did, did I actually? I didn't say feet jumping, did I? Maybe, yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Feet jump. Okay, there we go. Just so the title's not completely misleading. Because <laughs> now, at this point, I did the prime thing two and a half hours ago. Fucking hell, I didn't even think it was two and a half hours. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Walter, you gotta make the jump, Walter. 
going to be stuck here all day, Walter. Come on. I love Mike and, um, what you call Better Call Saul. I, I like his, like, story a lot as well. So far. Oh my god. Ay, 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 come on, man. Capra gone. <laughs> I'm just having this thought. Imagine KSI just comes in the chat and like, yo, bro, why aren't you drinking Prime? I'd probably go downstairs and get a drink the rest of it. But then again, I don't even think he goes by the name KSI on Twitch. I think he goes by a different name. So, I mean, it would be a pain if people recognized you, like. But hopefully sometime in the future they actually officially announce it coming to Ireland. Then I don't have to <laughs> pay twice the price for each bottle. I just, I, I, I had new inside information. And I took my uh, inside information and just went with it. Because why not? At least I'm not like scalping the fucking bottle and selling it for higher prices. Like I'm actually consuming the product like and reviewing it. It's more of like an entertainment prop now. Under expenses, it would be entertainment item. <laughs> Not hydration drink. Uh, okay, you know... It would be nice if I could just get up. I'm so glad that, like, if I break something at work, I, the, the, the immediate conclusion is not, you are fired, it's more of, okay, shit, maybe I should just be more careful going forward, like, because as I've said before, my manager's, like, pretty sound with stuff, like, and they know I'm not, like, I'm purposely breaking stuff in the place, like, to do things, and it's only the second time it's happened now, so, second time in, like, five months? Wait, March, April, May, June, July, almost five months. When we hit August, I think it's the end of the week, actually, or end of next week, and it's been five months since I started working. So, still weird to me to think that there was a, li like, literal, like, year and a half where I just was not, like, working at all. Like, all I was doing was stuff on the internet, and that's, uh, on the doll. But obviously, to keep up the streak now, I gotta... Also look up for another part-time job at some point. Cause that's what that's honestly probably what I'm gonna do now. After I've gone on the holiday to um what we call it to London if we're still going. I want to look up for another part-time job. I'm just holding off right now because I don't I don't necessarily need it, but it would be nice to have. So if I did need to transition from my, like, old job to a new job and do full-time in a new job, I actually have a way out, like, and that I'm constantly going to be doing something, like, as well. I'd probably do it as well if I could, like, where, if it was even possible at all, even after getting that full-time, and if I wanted to move again, I'd get another part-time job somewhere else and shuffle and switch from there, you know? It would be a good few busy months, though, like with me just doing stupid shit like that, but hey. I do kind of want to be a job hopper if I keep, that I keep saying before now. So I think the prospect is actually not a bad idea. Like keeping your life fresh and like you're just going through newer experiences all the time. I got, probably got to stop talking soon. My throat is kind of killing me. I'm trying to think now. There's something else I'm going to say or do. I can't remember that. Man, 
I gotta see when, um, like, our American friend is actually back online. She has been basically online since, like, how long has it been now? Since, I think it was, like, August last year or something like that. I did see, like, a message from her recently in a Discord chat. But it's mainly because, again, she's just been busy with her own life. But if she's not busy again... Alright, boy, here we go. I wouldn't even mind streaming with them as well. Get all of us together, do a different, like, or do a game together. And go from there. Because I haven't personally, like... Actually, no, I did talk to him a little bit not too long ago. But, like, I won't be talking to him every day. I don't really talk to any friend every day. I'm just not that kind of guy that texts people all the time, but I kind of want to change that. And I guess I am slowly changing that by uh, trying to post more. So that people actually have an excuse to, like, comment on stuff that I'm doing, like. Then we can start a conversation from there. Mother lover. Alright, uh, you're an interloper. Prepare to die. In five nights at Freddy's tree, our horror ride will just remain. You burn alive when you get night five. I drive in five nights at Freddy's tree. I think it's because I listened to the original ones first, that like I kind of like the originals more than the remakes. Oh my god. There's something about the amateur sounding nature of the songs that just is good. Oh my god, I just had an idea there. What if I what if I sung my own original song, but in different languages? Starting with Japanese, obviously, because that's probably the one I can pick up on the fastest. God, I wouldn't even know how to begin that. Dora, it's time to think. You thought your time was up with me milking you for ideas. Not yet. Where are you going? Up is up. Oh my god. Oh my fault, man. Now, nah, why are you doing this to me? Wake up. Come on, fuck. I blame you solely for sleeping on me. Oh my god. That, I hate that. My own sweat literally gives me a jump scare like. I should not speak. Switch tops. Man, the window's open and all oh, and I'm roasting. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. In the FNAF, at Freddy's tree. Alright, built just for me, but lies. When you hit night five, minute riding five, night to Freddy's tree. My tea need to take my medication again. Oh my fucking god. Yikes. Oh no, this is yikes. This is no, please. I want to be up there. Nope. Yes. <laughs> it's just nope. Nope. Yes. Dun, 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 dun.
think you were fine where you were, to be honest, Jack. Because you need to be on the edge of the platform anyway. There you go. What do you- why? You know what you need to do and you're just refusing to do it. Please? Help? what you'd expect from me, honestly. I'll be back in a second. Right, let's watch my demise. Ooh, we're good. Okay, we're safe. Just need to eat this ice cream. Actually, let me check something whilst I eat. I just thought I was getting some number of, like, or, oh, I'm sorry, wrong button. I thought I was getting something cold for my throat. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I honestly can't remember what I was going to look up, to be honest. Um... So if you notice me bopping around, I'm literally just bopping to idle right now. <laughs> I will say, actually, I let my mom have, like, a sip of the Prime, and she actually kind of likes it. She said she wouldn't mind having that again. So I know, <laughs> I know what for Christmas present I'm getting her. Hi, <laughs> hi. Steve, this, and that, and that, uh, 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 u
I can 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 I I Bangers on. Hmm. <coughs> oh no, Diablo 4 it looks like it's also having troubles with microtransactions as well. I did see a thing where it's like you can actually click on a button by accident and like you could buy the um like battle pass or something in Diablo 4. I think what was it? I swear I was gonna do something as I was eating. I can't remember now. Hmm. Oh. I didn't even know you could do that. Apparently. Oh. Oh yeah, because guest feature and it shows like who's the guest. Yeah, I get it now. Hmm. One hundred and sixty. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. One hundred sixty-four, five, six, seven. That should be eight. And then one hundred sixty-nine. Uh, FG. I'm not going to let that model's time go to waste. <clears throat> there we go. Because, like, for this, like, FNAF Security Breach series, I actually made, like, a whole... Di well, I say a whole... Well, yeah, no, a whole different outfit for it. And, um... Obviously, since I'm not playing anymore now, it's kind of just pointless. It, it just exists, but I can't do anything with it, like... Hmm. I don't think there's anything we can watch right now. I'm almost done this anyway, so. Oh my god, no stuff. Right, let's unrecommend that one. Oh my god. There's no way. 
God, a lot of like AI stuff now comes up in my feed. Like, just can't help it. I'm just curious. Like, oh my God, that actually kind of works. <laughs> okay that is good it's like the villager ai like sound like uh, ai uh music like you think it wouldn't be that good but it's actually not that bad oh my god i have to listen to this one Not that one, watch later. Okay, all right, sorry, I'm going to have to pause that one. When I get back into the uh, thingy. Okay, let me just not look at that because that's a spoiler. You know, just don't recommend channel. <laughs> no, okay, wait, I got to show this before we get back into Jump King. Um, where is it? There we go, this one. Walter. Put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. This, this whole thing could have been avoided. Shut the fuck up. I'm glad he said that, man. I'm not having sex with you. <laughs> I'm not having sex with you, Walter. Oh, man, yeah, no, this is emotional. And now I've ruined it by showing a meme. <laughs> ah, that was good. Right. Back into the fray. Oh, wait, actually, before I go back into the fray. Fuck. Come on, listen to it real quick, Joe. Right, X that out, X this out, back into here, do a little switcheroo, and now we're on the recovery. I say that as I fail immediately. Walter, you have to hit the jump harder, Walter. Walter, you're going to miss that. Wal Walter, listen to me. There must be some way you can string the memes together, I just realized. Put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you now, right now, Walter. And then just the other memes like, Walter, Walter, I'm gonna have sex with you, Walter. Some say he's a legendary gamer. Some say he even bet all three maps in Junking in the base game. He bet getting over it. Fib Cuphead on normal, because he's, he's too... Actually, not even normal, actually. He was on hard. And then there's another difficulty up above that. But he defeated, like, Cuphead on hard. Some 
some say there's rumours that he's actually going to be doing the DLC of Cuphead as well, eventually. I describe a VTuber that's on the exact same journey as me. Whether they exist or not is unknown to me. But if they do, I wish them luck. Oh, you dumb. Dumb. Walter. Drink your prime, Walter, before it gets warm again. Don't make me put it back in the fridge, Walter. I'm sick of doing your errands, Walter. I'm not gonna lie, after drinking nearly the whole bottle, it actually is starting to grow on me a little. But then again, that's like anything. Like, you consume a lot of something and you actually just start to like it, like... Like, I mean, songs that I never liked before I like now because I just hear them so often, like... Yeah, no, I seriously have to get Powerade again and actually compare the two. Because Powerade's more of a hydration drink as well. See what the classic has against the uh, newbie. I say newbie, but Prime came out. I feel like a year ago now, maybe even over a year. So it's not really like new, new anymore. I actually would be so curious though if I could, like, if I can get my hands on the sachets. That's I think where the proper experimentation comes into play. Because I would be disgusting and use one for. <laughs> I'd use a bit of powder to put it in fucking milk just to see what it tastes. Like. Actually, no, not maybe the milk. But I would have it in water though, at the very least. And then maybe, like, if one's suitable for, like, uh, milk, like, maybe if there's, like, a, I don't know, maybe a banana flavor or some shit like that. If there's ever one like that, then I'd use the banana flavor, sachet and milk, because it would taste so good. One I really would like to try is strawberry, like, I think it's strawberry watermelon. Because I usually like strawberry stuff, so, <laughs> literally, that's it, just because I like it, that I might actually like that. Unironically, ha like, try and prime is like one of those things I have in life. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you gotta try this at one point. Now that it's done, it actually just, it kind of feels nice. At least I've tried one of two bottles right now. I'll try the popsicle flavor tomorrow. I gotta milk it out somehow, you know? And plus, like, I feel like drinking two of them in one day is a bit much. Walter. 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 Make the jump, Walter. Do it right. I'm sick of watching you fail, Walter. First year, family, your drug empire. No, jump king. This has to stop, Walter. Just take the money and go. Oh my god, I actually kind of want that now. I kind of want somebody to draw fucking Sherry with fucking Heisenberg's alpha on. Oh my god, that'd be brilliant, like. It's like when I seen that edit of, like, somebody dressing up a Barbie as, like, um, Oppenheimer, like. God, the ad was dark. Up we go. Oh, that's a Yowzers. Oh, imagine only one if he's saying Yowzers though. Oh, full jump, Joe. Dumbass. R wrong way. Okay, hold on. I need to drink every last drop before I put it up.
And now, <laughs> you are a souvenir on my shelf. <sighs> Move aside, anime figure. I've got a bottle of Prime on my shelf now. Maybe here actually do a better respond. There we go. <laughs> it's just gas. I just have like anime figures, pop fi like figures, my own name on a sign, and then just a prime bottle sitting with it as well. Like, why not? You know. I think those bottles as well are the like US version because like I think there was there is like two versions of the prime bottles. Like one is like a bit slimmer and taller than the other. And it's because of like different um what do we call it? Like regulations that made it like that. So that's interesting to see that we're getting the US ones and not like the UK ones. But I guess the UK has like so little of them, like Actually no, I don't think it's that big of a problem anymore, but yeah. I mean, for other countries, it is a bigger deal, though. Especially because, like, every time I've checked the website, they just never have it. Actually, that's funny. That, could you imagine? It's just on the website now as I'm talking about it. But it's never, like, on the website. It's always sold out. But I think they do that on purpose to make you think it's selling a lot. When they probably haven't updated it, like, in months. Let's see, Prime Hydration. Oh yeah, that's it, Strawberry Watermelon. It's the pink bottle as well. Mr. Opportunity to have kids I wear in pink as well. Oh no, why are they saying find in store? Do they actually not sell it through the website anymore? Oh, there we go. Okay, so they sell the sachets six pack for $14. That's actually not that bad. You get, like, multiple drinks out of that. They aren't even paying you. I know. It's it's living rent-free in my head. I'm just curious now. Let's see. Find in store. That notify me when, nah, I'm not going to be that bad out. Or not that bad out, but, like, that desperate. $30 for a 12 pack as well, man. And then we have, like, literally, like, if you get, get, like, three bottles in this one shop in Dublin, that's, like, 30, like, euro itself, which is roughly the same. Like, what? <laughs> that's mad. That, like, think about that difference, man. That's stupid when you think about that, how scalping has gone so far. Oh, I'd love to try grape, honestly. Nah, grape would probably be gas, like... And the, what was it? Grape, strawberry, watermelon, and lemonade. Th those would probably be good. Meta Moon have no tr clue. Tropical Moon? Eh, that mightn't be too bad. Then the energy drinks. Oh, wait, do they even... Orange Mango sounds nice as well, but they don't actually have that as a bottle. Rest in peace. I wonder if the sachets have, like, caffeine, or are they just... How, wait, how, how is the sachets 10% coconut water when it's powder? That they probably find a way. I'm probably just not thinking about it right now. Walter, stop shilling for prime Walter. It's enough, Walter. We get the idea. They're putting chemicals in the water to make the fucking frogs gay. Uh, I don't. I still don't know how to fit in that coconut water in the powder, but and obviously there is a way, like, um, per se. <laughs> I thought me being flat was emojis as well, like, or emote, should I say? Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, it's comedic how bad I am at this, Jesus. I was gonna say it's comedic how he's quoted. 
kind of stuff. There we go. <laughs> I was literally actually about to ask you if you were going to bet your points, but I was like, oh wait, yeah, never mind. <laughs> you have a million, I think you're fine. Like, I don't think you need to do any more betting anymore for a while. That's going to be weird when we transfer, or if we have the transfer, should I say, to the Twitch points economy. That's going to be, that's probably going to be a lot different, because, like, I don't even think there is a betting option for something like that. Like, in Twitch's actual chat system. Why didn't you just fall? Like, do it. It's funny. It's so funny, man. Just fall. It's legit the funniest shit I've seen all stream. Are you okay, Joe? Do you need some assistance? You seem like you're struggling there. Not gonna lie. You just not realize how yikes that is. Come on, man. We can do better. We can do better, my friend. Do better. I thought I was gonna fall off, honestly. That was gonna make me cry. said it was Oppenheimer time, I actually was just crying at the seams. I don't know why I don't do the full jump from the side, it's so much safer, like. Old habits die hard, I assume. Actually, they were talking a lot about die hard and... A Rick and Morty episode that I just watched recently there. Alright, just stay at the side. There you go. Ah. There you go. See, now you're copping on. I love it too much. Oh. Honestly, as long as I'm learning, we'll get farther. Too much. Gotcha. And then you jump a little bit out to the side, jump up like that. Jump like this, jump like that, jump like this, jump like that, jump up here, get past the big troll face in the background, jump over, jump over, jump, oh fuck, okay we're good, jump over, jump a bit more, stop it a bit, jump over, Ha! Ah, okay we're back in the tower of the Antumbra.
I apologize, I know I'm saying it wrong. But what you expect from someone who got like 2 out of 10 or 2 out of 30 on their spelling test. Oh my god. Oh my god, so close. Yeah, a bit more. Oh, I'm actually saying it right. Okay. Lovely. But watch me say it wrong next time. It's not even on purpose. I literally will just forget how to say it, like I swear. I know I could probably do this really close, but I prefer to be over here. There we go. That's just my preference. I prefer to try not to die challenge real hard. Oh, that's you. No! You motherfucker! No, please. Okay, thank God. Oh, you motherfucker. Uh, I hate when you fall in the sand, man, and it just keeps dragging you down, man. I just wish it didn't do that. Then it wouldn't be hard, would it? Oh, you mother lover. You are actually such an intelligent human being, Joe. Holy shit. Imagine if you had snake ring. With snake ring, you were going to cat. Oh, because... Wait, was snake ring to make everything slidey? Oh, yeah, no, it would make all the sand stuff slidey, right? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, man, fuck that. No, thank you. Oh, but <laughs> legit, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm fucking myself down, I guess. Oh, Jesus. You'd have the face, or you would have face planted on ice. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, so I wouldn't have fallen through, would I? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus H. Christ. What are you doing? Hello, Joe? Brain, wake up. Oh my god. Why do we call Jesus by his first name? I don't even know, honestly. We just kind of do. It wouldn't really ring off the tongue, would it? Or, like, go off the tongue easier if you say Mr. Christ. You have a good day. You 
Oh, you letterbox. Please. Just allow me to just put my mail in. Come on. Need to check something on my mobile device. Uh, what was I going to check? I was going to check, not like that, like this. I'm not even going to open his message because I know what he's going to say, so I'm just going to open my mate's messages. See, this is why I don't answer messages in the middle of the day. Like, I'm literally on stream right now and I'm just not saying anything. I'm just replying back to people. Like, this is why I'm bad at messaging people as well. I'll literally leave you on red, like, for the whole day. Like, I'll answer at the end saying, sorry, I did a bunch of stuff in the middle of the day. And then what is he going to say? He just replies to me saying Ayo and I'm just like blueberries mid. <laughs> he was the one that was saying it was shit anyway, so like he probably agrees with that. Oh. Right. Too much socialization for me now in the last few days. Gotta tone it down. Oh my god. Okay, wait, let me be good. There you go. I need to recalibrate myself. Um, you know, that's why, like, usually I only go out, like, once a week with friends, because it's just, like, I I have a social battery, and it's it only charges up so much. I need to get better, though, at being able to charge that battery up more, or let it charge up more, consume less energy when I'm with friends and stuff. Because then work also kind of takes a little bit out of me as well. But to be fair, that's a, like a job, so I kind of have to like be a bit more presentable and all that. Which actually reminds me. Oh shit, okay, I guess we're going down here. Uh, haircuts. That's another thing right now. 
so weird to think about though. At one point in time, I legitimately wanted hair like as long as the hair I have now in my model. But nah, I just couldn't commit to it. Because like even at the length my hair is at now, it's just, it just looks annoying more than anything. That's why I just don't like it. But then again, it's, it doesn't, like, my fringe looks horrible when, like, my hair gets caught. It just doesn't look right. But I'd rather put up with that, though, than longer hair. Longer hair is also a lot of effort to keep, like, maintained as well. Clean and all that sort of stuff. stuff. Are you okay? There you go. I liked what I did though. Like actually <laughs> going out early in the morning just for a bit of prime. It was a nice change of a morning, honestly. Never thought I'd ever actually be like, you know what? I'm gonna go out early for the fucking product that's not gonna really probably taste that good. Nice change in pace and environment, though. And plus, I got the, like, coffee drink that I really like to drink as well at the same time, so even if it wasn't there, I got that, so. I just found out 17 fits into 71. 51. Oh, shit, wait. 7, 7, 14, 34, 34, 34, is 68. Oh yeah, no, I've gone over the number. Oh, so wait, does it fit in three times? Or something like that? Or am I still over-calculating? No, wait, no, it would be five times. No. Oh my... You, you know, ignore me, just ignore me. Just <laughs> ignore me. I am wowed by that fact. So I don't really think of much uh, multiplication numbers over like 10 or something like that. I don't even think of 11 or 12, like. Yeah, 17 fits into 51. I thought for a second there it was the opposite way around. It was like 71 fits into like 15, or 15 fits into 71. Like, wait, how? Seven in general is just a weird number in multiplication. I mean, what is it? It's like 7, 14, 21, 28, 36? Like, the numbers just go all over the place for 7, or multiples of 7. You can tell I was also not good at multiplication. It's just, I'm not good at maths either. I'm not good at anything. So, fits into 51. 35. Oh, 35, not 36, yeah. Oh my god, guys, can we get a downfall park in this? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny how I used to, like, make fun of that a lot at the start of streaming. I still kind of do now. Oh my... F huh? Huh? No. It's an apple. An orange. And most importantly... It's... Loading question. Loading answer. <sighs> Can't wait to visit Bog again, man. It's gonna be so good. So it's been a while since I visited Bog, so I might actually have to visit it again. I know the exact jumps I have to make. I just choose not to make them all the time. <laughs> oh no, that's gas.
My brain finally reveals what it's actually thinking. I know the moves you need to make. I'm just going to choose not to do them. Yeah, that's actually a good spot. Too much. Sorry, Joe. It's game over. I'm sorry, man. It's seriously just game over. It's not cool, I know, but, like, it just happens. What did I say, though? It is game over. actually full jump or didn't full jump that just there because <sighs> it's effort getting down from the slope it requires one extra brain cell to be active I caramba man doing that. I'm probably going to miss the jump at some point. Like I'm going to miss this one. Or 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 this one. Maybe even this one. Or maybe even this one. Or maybe even this one. This one? Probably this next one to be honest. Yeah, definitely this one. Okay, maybe the next one here. Or the one after that. Maybe even this one here. Or definitely this one. Maybe even this one. There we go. Finally. It happened. God, when I blinked there, I swear I saw a face. That's scary. Somebody's face burned into my memory. Yeah, my, like, workmates are actually so gas. We were, like, it was so, like, empty one of the days, we all just gathered and started talking shit. And then, like, we're almost like, okay, what if we, like, me and this person here are going to be, now the, uh, social, uh, coordinators of the, like, basic office. Uh, we're going to have a speed dating thing for these two people. And it was just so bad, I was like... Then the moment it turned to me, it's like... Oh, Joe, do you want to be a part of this? And I put my hands on it. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Just, I, I'm fine. Mainly because, like, I'm, like, the youngest person in the office, like, so. Okay. You mother lover. Thank you. Now I'm going to miss it. On, man, I just want to visit Bog again, man. This gravestone is literally for Bog. It has B on it. It definitely doesn't have any other text that says that otherwise. Definitely. Heisenberg. Magnitudes worse off than you were when you actually first reached up to insert name of section here. I spammed the fucking pause menu so much it started like stopped uh, playing the sound. What time are we at? Okay, it's literally four o'clock, so I have so much more time left. I've like over an hour left or so, maybe. Well, no, I'd say under an hour. Did 
did you think this fake babe was real at first? I think, um... I think I literally asked, like... I think ages ago. I, mean, I can't remember. I think, go like, when I reached the top, I knew the babe was fake. I can't remember when. I'm gonna fuck it up this time. I can't hit the hat trick, I'm sorry. Never mind, I just hit the hat trick. I literally just lied to your face. You actually should feel so bad, like. You should distrust me for the rest of the stream now. For being a big fat liar. Yeah, but no, I swear, like. What was it? It was like. I can't. I seriously can't remember, but I did know beforehand that. The tower was fake because I think it was like I was like okay there's no way this like has to be the top because like it felt so soon at the time I think reaching the top compared to the other games and then comparing the hours and I got someone to tell me like oh yeah no there's another tower above so it's fair enough still struggle to reach up to the top though as you may know already but man I wasn't expecting the bird to be there I should have expected it, but I didn't expect the bird to be there. Oh man, this is lovely. This is not lovely. My nose literally itched the moment I let go. Caused me to let go a millisecond before I needed to... Let go. What are you doing? Hello? Joe, this is recovery time. Not fuck around. What do I smell? No, we're good. I thought I smelled blood. Which probably would have meant my nose was bleeding. Can we just talk about, though, how insane it is that, like, essentially aliens are almost confirmed to be real or something like that, and, like, we're all just like, oh, yeah, cool, we kind of knew already. But to be fair, we all did kind of know. <laughs> this is me we're talking about. I, As I said, like at least over 50 hours. Oh wait, shit, that would mean that I have 10 more hours left until I fucking don't like, well it's not even a promise, but I don't even hit my own target like. Ah, I won't let that bother me anyway. If we take as long as we need. I know, um, Someone was saying before that someone spent like 60 hours on like, I think even the first or second map and they just gave up on the game. So I don't want to be that guy. I'm going to keep her going. Keep her going. And then hopefully afterwards we'll play some uh, Cuphead. Because I haven't played that in a long time and I kind of do want to play the DLC. I've been putting it off for so long man. Then maybe if the blue moon hits right, maybe over, or what was it called again? It's not. It's obviously not getting over. It. It's um, only up. That's it. But that's a big fat maybe. Never promise it. Like no promise. Uh huh? Dude. Seriously, gotta watch XQC play this one. Or even just like listen to it in the background. Oh, wait, actually, that's kind of annoying me. Why is like one skull emoji not like bigger than the other two? Like they're all di well, t they're different sizes essentially. I'm afraid to ask, but like, what was your uh, what was your time? Like, not even the original time, if you don't want to give that. What's your, like, best time, essentially? Because I know God's, well, literally God, like, can get it, like, in a good, like, 20-odd minutes or so, so. 66. I'm assuming... So that's 66 hours, right? Or is it 66 minutes? 16 falls, Jesus. Then what would... Do you know what the time for that one was? Oh, my God. 
Yeah, 17 minutes, man. It's just crazy, like, how fast you can do it. And then you just... <laughs> just with this one, it's like, oh, 41 hours later, and he's still, like, he reached the top section, like, once in this entire stream. Nope. Not there. There. I wasn't actually trying, though. Yeah, in the 17 minutes one night. That's also mad as well. You're just playing it, like, casually, and then you just... Oh, of course, 17 minutes. Man, I always feel like I'm going to go off the edge on that one. That's why I say I want to visit Bob, because it's like kind of a cope, like... A weird cope. Preying on my own downfall. Too much. I think it's been over a month now since GameStop left Ireland. It's not, I don't think it's really going to hit me properly until um, until we need to buy like Xbox controllers. Then I'm like, oh yeah, shit, we can't actually just go to this GameStop because it's gone. And then in the meantime, like HMV like reopened in uh, Dublin for the first time in ages. You actually just love to see yourself suffer, don't you? You're not gonna get out that way, Walter. <sighs> just thank God I didn't just chuck myself over the edge. That was a bit risky. You are just as good as the parts and service room in FNAF, man. No, back. Thank you. Got ourselves another. What was that? That was from like Cars. The first Cars film. When um, the truck was like falling asleep. And the loud ass Cars were just being a menace to society. I'll be honest, when it comes to cars, loud does not equal cool. <laughs> I'll be honest. Loud equals just obnoxious, honestly. I think nearly everyone can agree on that one. Unless you're a woman that's like, into that sort of thing, of men having big loud car. There you go. Um, oh, you are actually just cringe. Come on, get out. Get off the stage. All the way to the bottom. And back all the way to where we were. I was going to say the top, but that's not where we were. We're trying to get there. 
Why do I wake up? Da 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 the robo copyright song that Dan Bull did ages ago when Article 13 was a uh, was an issue, quote unquote. I don't know what it's up to now because I think it changed like name or something. It's been kind of under the radar ever since. I feel like it's going to probably be passed and we just wouldn't even know it. Like, that's sleazy though, like calling it a different name so people wouldn't understand it. That was in the year of 2018-19? And it was definitely during that time. No, 2018. Then Kappa was like 2020, 2021? Yikes. Oh, that's Yowzers. Oh, but thank god I bumped a little bit, man. Um, I'm being forced to leave stream. Why so? The stream's just like, no, you can't watch this guy anymore. He's fucking failing too much, man. You can't do this. But if you're already gone or going, then take care of Fab. Oh, shit. No, I'm good, actually. Never mind. I lied. Ah, oh, man, I'm such a big douchebag. <laughs> Don't beat it while I'm gone, please. I can't guarantee I won't beat it, but I'll try and make some progress at the very least. Oh, never mind, okay, I'm not making progress this stream. Take care, fam. <laughs> Just like, take care. You're probably going to miss nothing anyway. And if I do beat it, obviously there'll be a clip of it, so. Uh, this way. Alright, now that Fab is gone, it's actually serious time. We're actually going to beat it now. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I know you're probably still listening to this. I'm just joking. Oh, you mother... I should actually do a whole junking stream where I just say nothing. Even though I did actually try that for a portion of the stream, but I just couldn't stay quiet. Yes! Yippee. I like this kind of positive like thing I've got in my head where it's like you're cute. You know you're cute. Why am I so fucking cute? Like it's just so random but like I think my brain's trying to actually like say that I'm not like, you know, that bad. Oh. Once I get the hair cut though, I'll feel fresher. Okay, I need to be like over here and do that. There we go. There we go. No! Keep going, keep going, keep going. Thanks, God. But I can't do it without Fab. I, I didn't promise him or anything, but he says don't beat it without me, so if I get to the top, I have to stay there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know I could do the bigger jump and it would actually be better, but I'm doing it like this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please don't send me all the way back down to hell. Please don't send me all the way back down to hell. Please don't send me all the way back down to hell. Please don't send me all the way back. No, please don't. Thank you. 
Do you have 15 seconds? To <laughs> I'm not gonna beat it in 15 seconds. <laughs> there's absolutely no shot I'd beat this. Like, even in the next, like, minute. There's just no oh, shot. Yeah, there we go. There's no shot. Especially if I fuck up like that a lot. I just panic too much when I'm in that section. I think that's like gonna be my main hurdle to get over is to just not panic. But now I know like if I fall in like when I, underneath the sand, I can't just recover like. Or it's hard to recover. What are you doing? What are you doing? That is cringe, man. How did I... How did I fuck up that badly? Wh wait, wait, what the fuck was that? Okay, it didn't work there, but... I, it did, I, I'm not... I'm not imagining that. That was weird. I'm probably not gonna do that again, though. It's gonna throw off my rhythm. I, okay, I asked it. <laughs> That's my new habit now, apparently. Just hitting the thing. Oh, no, cringe, 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 stop. I don't want to be in your cringe compilation, no thank you. I don't consent to that. Nah, anything I put on the internet can be used. That's why I, like, I don't have to, like, I untick the YouTube standard license, because I just don't really care, like... Use my clips as much as you like. Did a little dent. Oh my god, did I act? I think I just rickrolled myself and everyone here. Because I was going to go, did a little dun dun dun. Did a little dun dun dun. Doesn't really count though, because like, it's not actually like a rickroll, right? But I feel like I definitely did rickroll myself, just because like... I didn't even know what I was going to say until it came out of my mouth, like. Oh yeah, see, now I'm not hitting it. There we go. We got this. Progress today, boys. Progress today. The Prime Energy Drink- or not Prime Energy Drink. The Prime Hydration Drink is so good that I could feel it flowing through me. Trying to say it in a different way so it's not as sus as last time. Moist Critical felt so real, it was like he was like me. That was still a good drink though. The Divine Peach uh, can. Okay, come on. No, Joe, please actually stop. <laughs> Just. Uh, Okay, look, I'm, I'm, let's just confirm. I am going to hum it now, okay? We good? Not rickrolling now. I'm surprised I've never done a cover of that song before. A cover of the Surprise Me Command song. I predict in the next 40 minutes I'm not going to be here because I'm going to leave for X reason. <coughs> no, wait, no, I just realized now when I say X reason, that sounds like Twitter reason. For insert here reason. There we go. Oh, you crazy. 
hinge lord. Move back. Because then we don't have to do a thing. Lovely jubbly. I'll do it from there. Absolutely no problem, mate. Absolutely banging. Just tone it down a little. Thank you very much. Jump over. Jump over. Jump over. Jump over. It's not Jover until you jump over. Jump over. Jump over. Jump over. Jump over. Jump over. Not so much. You should have done a bit more. Not gonna lie. Kinda cringe. Most mentally stable YouTuber. VTuber. Twitch streamer. I still consider myself a bit of a YouTuber, honestly. So I still do make videos, like, even just, oh god, even just recently I made the FNAF video, like, and that's only, like, that wasn't ever streamed, so. And then the trying to, or find love or die trying, that was also recording from ages ago last year. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love what we're doing here. We are absolutely changing lives. Thanks, Starman. You are just so talented. You knew that, like, if you did that amount, you'd hit thing. That is so, like, smart, man. I wish I could be as smart as you. Okay, a bit more jump. Okay, may maybe, maybe just like... Yikes, that could have been bad. Can't believe how bad that could have been, man. I actually saw the future. It was bad. You actually did that. You, no way did you just do that. No actual way did you just do that. What are you, oh, okay. I was gonna say, what are you, good at the game? Ah, uh, but clearly not. Please, Lord, I beg, I beg, I beg, please. Thank you. If I don't land on that platform, I cry. Simple as that. You play Jump King, because... The insert reason here, I play Jump King to cry. We are not the same. You play Jump King <laughs> to beat the game. I play Jump King because I'm clinically insane. You play Jump King because you want to beat the game. I play Jump King because I want to waste time. <sighs> we got this. With the power of friendship, I think we've got this. you get in, you have to start, Joe. Wait, okay, actually, hear me out, hear me out. Aim a bit. You probably could full jump, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, yowzers. Ooh. I see a yes. I can't remember the reason for the yes, but I'll take it. Unless it was because I recovered well. Getting back to here. Where I was talking about the power of friendship and anime on our side. Ah! Oh, I actually made it. 
You are actually so good at the game, man. You are so brilliant. Your genius just frightens me, honestly. Yes, thank you. Again, if I don't land on that platform, it's just bad. You play Jump King because you want a challenge. I play Jump King because I have no maidens. You motherfucker. You were given a second chance here. Want a general tip for last area? Yeah, I mean, it's not really going to spoil the end, so just say it. <laughs> the tip is literally just don't panic. Just breathe. Drink some Prime, even though I'm saving the other bottle for tomorrow. You mother lover, you actually just believe in the fact that loving your mother is actually acceptable in this fucking society, man. And of course it should be. I agree with you. All I heard was fucking your mother. I actually, I wouldn't even be surprised if I said that once this stream already. You can get more consistent if you charge your jump as soon as you enter the sand by buffering your jump input before you hit the sand platform. Okay, wait, I'm gonna have to try and remember that when I get up and read it again. I'll let it settle my head for now. Babe up top! Babe no down! Depress guy down. He bad. He discourage. I also discourage you from going down any further, young man. Mm. <laughs> you can just tell he gets so frustrated. Making a jump, full jump up out of the sand and push hold jump in air to buffer your input. That way you can automatically start charging your jump when you enter the sand. Oh yeah, okay, I get it now, yeah. Oh, do you know how much of a yikes moment this whole stream is, man? It's just big yikes. Actually spending double the, like, probably retail price of Prime on a Prime on a Prime. When you realize it's actually cheaper to get a 12-pack of Prime online than it is in Ireland, usually. Because it's like, what is it, three bottles of Prime is equivalent to 12, like a 12-pack in price. Which is fucking absurd. That's why I bought it 3 euro. Had to. The cheapest I've ever seen it on Irish soil. You bet your ass if I go to the UK and I see it, I'm definitely picking up a few. Gotta taste test them all now. I do just hinge on the fact that it probably was because it was blue raspberry that I just don't really like the like blue raspberry in general. Maybe I'm just coping. Maybe I'm just coping heavy like. One I really want to try is the strawberry watermelon, but just won't be able to get my hands on that one now. Yeah, that was kind of a mad moment, honestly, now that I think about that, like how uh, that guy came in. Seemed like an okay guy at first, and then just made that joke, and I was like, oof. 
I've never seen blue raspberry. Yes, I do still have the bottle. Shush. It's not sitting on my shelf now, I swear. Probably better over here, actually. There it is. There you go. There, it, it, it exists, I swear. Actually, I should leave the cow. Oh, jeez. I thought I actually broke my phone screen there for a minute, like. Um, blackberry and raspberry and strawberry. Oh, I haven't heard the blackberry one. I know on the website they have, like, strawberry and watermelon together is one. Grape, lemon and lime. The orange one, orange and mango is a can. Ice pop is another one I have on me. And, yeah. I'm just not drinking the ice pop today because I want to just have one at a time. Oh yeah, actually I should rename that scene real quick. So it's not really the main scene anymore. It's kind of just... Oh yeah, it's going to swap to it. Just give me a minute. Um... There we go. And I'll just move it down to like here, because it's not really needed as much anymore. And it's also such a little difference, like how, uh, like I, like changed the, um, whatchamacallit, I changed the size of the screen, like for Jump King, so you can actually see the top properly now. <laughs> like it's not always necessary, but I just thought of changing it, why not? We're this deep into the streams. No harm to do a few little changes. So, I, like, when you talk about the thing, do you actually have them? Where, like, I, I, okay, I'm not. I'm gonna disclose. Don't give away your address, but like, if you could get Prime right now, could you actually get it in your country? The only reason I've made a big deal out of it is because in Ireland, it's like you can get it, but it's like ten euro a bottle, and I was just never gonna pay ten euro a bottle. But I will ha- I'll happily pay, like, twice the price, though. I'll pay three euro per bottle. Because, as I said, like, literally three bottles of Prime in Ireland is the same as a 12-pack, like, in cost. Which is just ridiculous, like. Yeah, it, it's mad. Because, like, it's not officially in Ireland yet. Like, some shops get them, but, like, a lot of them overcharge. Like, this one shop I went to actually had them, but just had them, like, normally. They weren't price hiking too hard out of them. But they're smart, though. They're like, oh, well, what if we just charge double the price? Because even double the price, people will be like, yeah, we'll pay for that. Like, kind of like the olive... Oh, man. If you're... I think you're talking about the same one. It's the... Isn't it, like, isn't the box for that, like, the actual, um, bottle, like, really thick? And it's, like, really hard. And like tall as well. It's like a two liter drink, isn't it? Or 1.5 liter. Because if it's the same one, then I know what you're on about. Because they overcharge for those here as well. Kind of pricey. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, I did actually buy one recently because there's mango. I was like, oh, why not? There's lots of uh, fruit flesh in there. Yeah. I honestly don't mind the bits, honestly. It's just the price I kind of mind. I wish they made them, like, cheaper, so I can actually, like, enjoy them more. Is it called Fruit Flesh? I don't know, honestly. I just call it, like, Bits, because, like, at the end of, like, club bottles, like, uh, club orange bottles, we just call it Bits and stuff, so... In Germany, we call it that, the literal translation, though. Ah, yeah. The same difference, anyway, like... Like, it's still, like, flesh from the fruit, like... Hasn't been pureed or uh, juiced.
You think, though, <laughs> with drinking aloe vera, you think, like, drinking it, you would feel better on the inside. Because it does good for your skin on the outside. But no. It just makes you think, man, I spent that much on the drink. To be fair, though, I do, like, make, um, like, two litre bottles last long. Too bad there's a ton of sugar in there, lol. Oh, there is as well. Damn. Oh, well. Sugar tax as well would actually be put on that, so... It was probably even more expensive, like. I just thought I saw something there for a minute. Nah, that's not it, Chief. That's not it. Wait, was that? Hold on. Oh, that's surprising. Usually my brother's out longer, but home early. So that probably means dinner's gonna be soon, so I'm gonna have to stop for a bit, but I'll probably be just continuing jumping afterwards anyway, because why not? <laughs> Unless I decide to stop streaming and just watch Better Call Saul. Because I genuinely would like to try and finish it before the subscription ends. And I only limit myself on the subscription just in case I, uh, forget to cancel the membership. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. I still need to actually watch Arcane. I have it, like, in my list on Netflix, but I just haven't actually started watching it yet. And I can't even change my location for other shows as well, I just realized, because, um, whatchamacallit. Because Netflix have that thing now where it's like, if you are in a different country, you can only watch Netflix for like a certain amount of time before they cut you off, like, which is just kind of stupid, like. Like, it's just going to encourage people to pirate more, honestly. Because I don't think they realize people do have options, like, and if, they're, if they have to, they'll choose other options, like. But for me, I'm paying currently, and I'm getting my value out of it. So, I mean, I already work, so, like, and I'm not using my money for much, so why not, like? Just have it there in the best quality possible. Straight from the Netflix servers themselves. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to start watching stuff on Disney+, Plus because I also have a Disney Plus subscription, but mainly my parents are the ones that are actually using it right now. But I'm going to probably let that roll over. Let it charge me again, and then I'll start watching uh, stuff on it. Yikes. Or if there's anything that premieres on Disney Plus soon, I might actually watch it. Maybe even I might just use it soon. Just watch a film on it. I know if Marvel ever get their shit back together, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have a lot of content to catch up on in terms of Marvel films anyway. Don't know why I'm jumping like this. It's kind of off putting. Give me a second. Yeah, see, that's why I need a second. Right, I'm going to leave the break on. I'm probably going to be back like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, and then we continue and we go from there. Right. Beer beat. No. Sorry, that was so long. Your mother lasts a long time, honestly. All right. <coughs> really caught me off guard. Holy shit. <laughs> Am I really gonna open up like that? <laughs> Come back. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> Sorry, I drank like um, fizzy orange and it went down the wrong way. <sighs> now I just gotta adjust again. <clears throat> Okay, I know I just came back, but just <laughs> in there a minute. Alright, sorry about that. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
trying to stop my throat from dying challenge extremely hard. Everything has to be a challenge, doesn't it? <laughs> With me, like. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on. You know, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> Oh Jesus, my throat needs to readjust itself. It's weird to think that. <clears throat> Come on, Jesus. Come on, throat. <clears throat> it's weird to think that um, I've actually been streaming technically longer than I've been playing the game. Not because I've been playing this offline, just because like, or well, I actually haven't been playing it offline weirdly enough. But it's mainly because um, the amount of time I pause and all that. And how to watch videos in between or pause for breaks and all that, you know? Like, I do wish I could actually take out all those breaks and stuff in between, but like, um, YouTube just doesn't allow it. It's like, oh, this is too long. You can't cut it out. It's like, what? Why? Can I, why can't I just cut it out? <coughs> hmm. Sorry if I keep grunting like that, but I have to just to try and. Get my throat back on the same level it, as it needs to be on for lots of talking. Are you blaring? You blaring, blaring. Did you know the Grand Fitness Pacer Test? It's a multi stage aerobic test. Unironically, I actually did do that in like secondary school. <laughs> The um, thingy test. Thank you. Wait, what did I do, Fab? <clears throat> Hopefully that wasn't the thing you were thanking me for there, stopping the grunting. Uh, you did. <laughs> you didn't beat it. Okay, yeah, fair. I completely forgot about that, honestly. <laughs> but I had to go anyway, soon after, so. We start up again. It's kind of weird to think, though, this is like my fourth attempt today on this map. Like, how have I beaten this three times already? Help me go. Oh my god. Even the first attempt. Okay, I gotta stop lying. <laughs> it's just, that's actual lying. That's not like. <coughs> that's like not joke lying, that's actual lying. That's gaslighting. There we go. I prefer the word gaslighting. Oh, you are some lucky person, bro. You are so unlucky, bro. God, my throat is a big distraction right now. You never actually beat you, babe. Hang on, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, this is actual gaslighting. It's <laughs> just you never actually beat New Bay Plus. You gave up on it. No, 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 no. I, I bet New Bay Plus. I have the proof. Imagine I go to find it <laughs> or try to go find it, and it actually isn't there. I'm like, wait, what? Hang on a minute. Why am I playing this then? <laughs> Oh. oh, you actually have to be kidding me. Joe, slow down. I never made a clip of you beating it called Let's Fucking Go. <laughs> Wait, have I? <laughs> imagine I just cr back, I crossed over onto um, 
The alternative timeline where COVID didn't happen and all that. <clears throat> oh, yikes. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that, that's, oh. Yikes, I'm actually going to feel that tomorrow, man. That is, ouch. Oh, man, that is, oof, that is bad, man. Yikes. That is bad news. I wonder if the shop I... No, nah, actually, I won't, I'll stop talking about it before I actually... I've already seen, like, a shill, so I'll stop. I don't even need to talk or, like, or say its name and you already know what I'm on about. Anyway, um... Oh yeah, no, that's just you saying you never made a clip. <laughs> you actually just go back to the channel and delete it. Oh god. <clears throat> mm. Bro, no. That's... That's cringe. No. <laughs> Come on, man. I just want to, like, not even beat the game, just progress in the game. I need to see the grass on the other side. I've been told it's greener. <clears throat> and of course, as a gamer, I haven't seen grass at all, so... It'd be interesting to see what this grass looks like. <sighs> Stop, you're doing it too much. Gotcha. Nearly the wrong way. Good job. Oh, yikes, yikes, bro. What are you doing? Right, are you actually here to, like, you know, beat this part? Or are you just here to fuck around? Like, come on. Are you actually serious? <clears throat> no. Go. Oh, fuck. Must have been enough. No. Nope. There you go, that's it. One thing I actually keep forgetting to do as well is actually update the soundboard. I need to do that update where I was talking about making one sound that could play all the other sounds randomly from another soundboard. <clears throat> oh my god. Don't you dare blame the character. You are the character. Did I actually blame the character? God, I've already forgotten about that information, like. But again, I want to blame myself, like. Oh my god. Are you kidding? We've been down here so long, the music's looping. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah, the knight didn't do anything wrong. The jump king himself. You're talking to jump king like he's not you. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't have armor. Or a nice tunic or... Uh, yellow boots and all that. For a crown. I am but a virtual person. Oh yeah, that's the thing I didn't even mention already. Definitely won't be seeing... I know I don't really stream Destiny, but I have less of an excuse now to stream Destiny. Because I literally got rank 100. I was like, right, that's it, not playing anymore. See you next season. If Bungie want to put out subpar content, they'll treat it like subpar content. Johnny Johnny. 
God, please do not bring that back, Joe. I beg. I actually think... Therefore I am. <clears throat> over this way, because you do a little slide. Jump over. Jump over. Jump up. Go back. Jump up. Land. Jump over. Good. And bad. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm waiting for the moment the Jump King actually gets free will and just plays this on his own and actually just gets to the top in like two seconds. That has to happen after a hundred hour, right? this one. Mm, yeah, this one was over. Walter. You gotta time their jumps right, Walter. Before you do that. Good job, Walter. I'm proud of you, Walter. Okay, unironically, that is actually just the worst decision I've made in my life. Come on, man. I swear when I start talking, my words mean nothing anymore. There's only so many times I can use certain phrases where it's just, like, overused. Or before everything become overused. Like, even this conversation right now is literally the probably the same thing I've mentioned before already. Just phrasing it differently. Oh, hmm. <clears throat> you no, no, please don't do that to me. I'm trying to play on a full stomach, not really helping out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I, I forgot that was even a thing. Because I'm just so used to climbing one step at a time, that I forgot you could actually just jump multiple of the steps. <clears throat> even though I've probably performed that already in this like very stream, and I've just forgotten about it. We always talk about brain rot, but what about streamer brain rot? I hear a cat purring. Special delivery? Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't actually ordered, like, anything in ages. Like, that's not, well, actually food was probably the last thing, but, like, to my house itself. No items. Even though I should probably get on that soon. I need to ask around again to see who's got a good, like, PC for decent price. And actually start... Building a new one. Oh, God. <clears throat> and sure, I could sell my current computer to someone. Well, when I say someone, I mean the sex shop, like CEX. But, like, they would fucking undercharge me to shit, like, and they would overcharge the next person my PC. Guarantee it, like. And I'm like, you know what? How about no? How about just go fuck yourself? Definitely, though, if I'm getting a new PC, I need to get, like, two new, like, um, SSDs. 
like both hard drives this time are SSDs, not just one being a hard drive and one being an SSD. <coughs> I'm gonna be greedy, I want both. Even if I go a bit over budget of what I'm thinking about getting right now. Just have to be careful which parts I get though, because I can, I can kind of already order the SSDs now that I think about it. But then everything else I'd have to actually look up and see like what's decent price and what can actually fit into a new build and all that. <clears throat> I even just have to, because my, yeah, no, he has like a good PC. And honestly with that, if I get a new PC, I can almost guarantee then get like a VR headset maybe even. But my problem is though, if I got a VR headset, it'd have to be a good one. Oh god. <clears throat> Yikes. 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 We'll have to see, Walter. We'll have to see how it goes. <clears throat> Did you know that I like to fail to learn from my mistakes as such? <coughs> Bog, here I come! <coughs> oh my god, fucking hell. <clears throat> My throat is annoying the shit out of me, man. Ah, yikes. I guess no fort times to charm on this one. It's back down to Bog for good old me. Oh, that's a yikes. <coughs> mm. Oh, fuck off, man. Oh my god, I really joined back on that. Ah, uh, yeah, Pi. It's unfortunate, but I am kind of a brainlet, so. Jesus, come on, just get over it, please. And my throat's kind of fucked up because of, uh, drank down the wrong end. Or went down the wrong end, that's it. <clears throat> and I'm trying to constantly fight it as I'm talking and playing the game at the same time. You actually just, just love how you have parents that actually love you, man. That's actually amazing. Oh my god. <clears throat> what are you doing? No, I fucked it. I I don't want to say hi to him. Kind of smells like cheese. No, no, while I'm here, no, nope, I'm already out. I'm gone. <coughs> I'm gone. I'm out. No, nope, not staying there. I did predict it. I did say I'd fall down to bog at some stage when I was jumping over to thing. Hmm. Wow. <sighs> I would like to say we start from the bottom now we're here, but I really don't feel like it's kind of the appropriate moment for that. Because now I'm not going to reach back to cats for... I'd say another 20 to 25 minutes, if I'm being honest. Sometimes, like, my brain just kind of says no, and I just have to accept it. 
Just let me brush my fringe back. Why didn't I tell you about how much I hate you? And this fucking jump. Stacy. It wasn't with Tracy. It was more like Miss Lacy. That's crazy. You you have the advantage, and you're just choosing not to take the advantage. What are you doing? What are you What are you actually doing? Hello. Don't cut off communication with the brain. Please don't do that. That wouldn't be nice. Oh, we're gonna be stuck down here. It's all your fault. The preface, not the Jump King guy. Myself. It wasn't too long when my parents left me after I fell back down to Bog and Jump King. They were disgusted at my digression in progress. After I found my girlfriend, and I just was cooked right in front of my face. No shame. Even your man felt bad for me, but she, she didn't even feel bad at all. Just because I dropped down to bog and jump came. I think the most shameful thing was floppy. Threatening to leave me at every given moment, but then Floppy finally had it. That's it. Sorry, I'm gone. Peace out. Never to be seen again. All because I dropped down to Bob. You know, unironically, actually jumping up to that spot is easier than the other spot. Because maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. Unironically, I had to sing that for class uh, summer choir, not choir, summer uh, thingy performance joke. We always had to do like a Tim Whistle kind of performance at the end of the year. Or I think it was Christmas time? No, I think it was Christmas time. Because I remember we had to sing um, Human once as well. We act I think we added in like an extra little part as well. Like, Oh no, was it? No, I, th I might be thinking of something else. This is back in primary school anyway. So that's why I actually know Wonderwall. The lyrics. To a certain degree. I feel like if I kept going, I actually would lose track of what they were. Oh, don't do that, please. That's yikes. Oh, that's yikes. That's yikes. Stop that, please. Oh, that's fucking major yikes. Please stop that, Joe. Come on, man. Cop on. Joe, cop on, please, for the love of God. Thank you. Oh, oh my lord. Eight ball onion. Definitely not. No onion. <laughs> I did hear though that onions have layers, honestly. Don't 
Just like ogres, I think, as well. You just realized, Joe, that you're actually just not intelligent at all. Who would have thunked it? Oh, jeez. Back to bog I go. Yahoo! Come on, you know you want to do it. Go on, do it. Go on, you want to do it. Come on, go back to Bog. No, seriously, go visit Ireland again. Come on. Back to Bog. Come on. Go on, do it. Do it. Do it. Just go back to Bog. Come on, do it. You won't do it. Come on, go back. Ah, you pussy. You won't go back. Oh, I feel like if I stood at a different angle, I could actually jump straight to that. Nah, the voices aren't taking over. It's always how it's been. Oh my god. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room full of rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. Okay, I'll stop the copy pass there. Back to bog! I probably said that wrong as well, actually, now that I think about it. I think I missed something. So hold on, let me just read it out to myself. So crazy, I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. I think that's it, isn't it? Okay, let me try something different. Let's innovate. Never mind, I can't innovate. Yeah, that's it. I've been told it so many times now, and I actually do remember it. Because I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A room full of rats. Or a rubber room. Fuck, I literally messed up the moment I said it as well. Thanks for the da 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 da. $50 ass haircuts. Has anyone actually here actually ever gotten a haircut that that's expensive? Like, the most I've probably ever paid for a haircut is like 12 50 seems a lot. Oh, yikes. Try not to cringe challenge extremely hard. Back out. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room full of rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room full of rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room full of rubber rats. Fuck. I messed up. Guys, I think we lost them. I'm going mental, yeah? Absolutely bonkers, yeah? Throwing your nanny in a wheelie bin, mad, yeah? Oh, I just want to close my eyes. And just fall asleep, I like to make myself believe that planet Earth turns slowly. I think that's another primary school song we had to sing. It's hard to say, say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Cause everything is never as it seems. When I fall asleep, I like to make myself believe that planet Earth turns slowly. It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep Cause everything- Oh no, something's bursting out the seams I don't know Then <laughs> look, if you had one shot or one opportunity To seize everything you ever wanted in one moment Would you capture it or just let it slip? I 
can't remember that song, but I remember hearing part of that song in a remix before. Or like a mega mix. I actually listened to a few of those. I think it was from Dayman or Savior. I think that's the guy that made a few of them. Some of them were banging. Just a cacophony of music overlaying on top of each other, like. Uh, you know the song. I kind of know the song, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, <laughs> it's just Eminem. Like, I mainly just know that part of the song, though. I don't really know the rest of it. Well, I say know that part, but I've heard that part a lot of times, the thing. It's been five days. Should I do my Duolingo? Yes, fuck. <laughs> Hasta la vista. Tashi excrued uh, on Spanish letter hall. Espanol. No, sorry. Excrude on du uh, on Duolingo letter hall. Ah, oh, caca. Wee oui, wee, oui, I know Spanish. Wait. The only exuber on Duolingo, to be honest. Will Duo uh, do something to Pie of Steve's family? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Again, emphasis on the maybe. There's still a change of heart that could happen. Stay on the good side, Pie. Okay, so if I just go over here, right, and then head... Metal Miss Hiva Sun Tobaka. I feel like bitch is in there somewhere. I should be cautious when reading out other languages in stream. I don't know what the hell's actually been said in it, like. But I'll definitely say, Wafinche or Bingshaling. Dare sure. Guys, make sure to thank the Chinese spy watching the stream right now. There she. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, that's what it translates to, yeah. So it's see these nuts, but in Spanish. Man, this part of the game is so much fun that I keep coming back down here to play it again, honestly. Um. Um. I'm breaking up, I feel it in my bones Just to make my systems blow Welcome to the new age, to the new age Welcome to the new age, to the new age Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm radioactive, radioactive What was that song? Um... Yeah, more, it's just about to break it's more than I can take. Everything's about to change. God, that fucking song has like a cringe memory attached to it. Where I'd be fucking role playing myself as Joe Sniflar, like in school, and uh, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. I'm shooting a meat or some sh Ugh! God, it's making me fucking embarrassed just talk about that. I feel it in my. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh no, don't fall for it. It's by Imagine Dragon, these nuts. <laughs> uh. God, man, that's an ages ago tweet as well. Nah. Sorry, Joe, it's not it. Sorry, Joe, that's not it. It's not it, Joe, sorry. You're still not going to complete the map, Joe. I hope you know that. Um, did you actually not know? Wait, what did I not know?
Um, yeah, no, I know Radioactive from a uh, thing. Um, but yeah. Meow. Er. I gotta get away from this area. <laughs> should that, that actually should just be a quote, shouldn't it? Just all the meows from fucking Jump King. Oh Jesus! Oh the um, the three smiley face community is dying. Make sure to repost this. I've seen that fucking twice on Twitter now or X. I can't never call it Twitter though. Oh my God! I use three smiley face a lot. Yeah. Well, apparently your fandom is dying. And that's not my words. That's Twitter's word. Now, the thing is, though, do you trust Twitter's word? I wouldn't. Oh, my God. I fucking... I love the fact-checking feature on Twitter, though. Like, when somebody fucking posts something that's complete fucking bogus, and then underneath it just says, like, readers added this context for this tweet, and it's, like, literally disproving the tweet, and it's like, bro, that is the funniest fucking way to tell, like, call someone out for their bullshit. Like, <laughs> I love that so much, like... Oh no, but that'd be even funnier if I, <laughs> I just tweet out Sherry Alber story is coming out and then underneath it's just like uh, correction, Sherry Alber story is not coming out. God I love that. I need to find a tweet like that and as, as an example, like the one where it's like someone's spreading misinformation and it's just been proven wrong. It's so funny because you can't really de-link it from your tw like Twitter, I don't think, or your tweet. It's just stuck there. And you just like like look like a moron like Isn't it? Hold on, actually, let me just test that real quick. Q U O T E. Oh, we actually finally have a quote. Let's go. Um, Q U O T E. Have I tried the password game? I don't think so, no. I feel like I've heard of it before, though. Oh, Jesus, man. This is what happens when you sit down for hours on end playing Jump King. You become rusty. Yeah, beating it. <laughs> it's hard, yeah. It's stupid. How much hours is that? Four. Then five hours for the capital R.
There's one more I was thinking about, hold on. Actually, I need to get the name for this one. Just give me a second. This is a warning. Da 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 I feel it's playing in this game. There we go. Right, sorry, I'll stop that. I'll let you guys converse about the password game. <laughs> okay, stop that joke. That's cringe. Thank you. I hope you know as well, if I do actually get a new computer, the first thing I need to replay is like, um, Resident Evil 4, and not play on low settings. Oh, I'd love- well, to be actually fair, that is a follow goal actually as well. There'd probably be a few games I'd replay- oh man, that'd be so good though. I know I don't really like Destiny, but I like the quality of the game in certain aspects. think like um... okay hopefully twitch doesn't actually ban me for this one In case 8-Ball isn't giving you wisdom, we have quotes now. We actually have quotes in the thing. I definitely need to add more of those, because like it's so easy to add them though. Oh, you know actually where I can just get easy quotes. I, th I think we have a quote section on the Discord, right? And if we don't, well, maybe I should have one. But again, I don't want to blow up the Discord with too many different channels. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you for loading weirdly. Ah, there the stream quotes. That's it. That's the one I was thinking about. Oh, my God. I have to add that. Damn, let me just do that real quick. And then first we go to add quote. Just one more here as well. Then go here, add quote, and then 
And I'll just edit the name a little bit as in this one as well. Lovely stuff. Okay, Coolio. Coola Bula. Oh, I didn't even see the end of that. That's actually wholesome. No! <sighs> Put them back. That's right. I cannot be the only one that hates little dogs. Except my friend's dogs are actually like very well trained and they're actually very nice like nice to you. And actually my other other friend's dog is also really nice as well. Just very energetic. Oh yowzers. Sorry about that. I didn't need to demonstrate that cringe on camera. If I could actually make it out of cats, that would actually be fantastic. I say that as I'm literally delving deeper back into cats. Can you just beat the game? Yeah, I know, man. It's so weird how I can't just beat the game, man. It's like I've like turned off that setting or something, man. It's kind of mad. Oh, let me just try for a minute. <laughs> Never mind, that's what happens when I put myself forward. I fail in front of everyone, and then I regress. And I just go back to the way things were. Quiet. Peaceful. There you go. We love you, Superstar. There we go. <sighs> okay, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. No, it's not it, it's not it. Okay, cool. I guess we're going back down, cool. <laughs> Way to go, Superstar. Gregory. You are required to use the vents, Gregory. Man, my bond with this character is actually the strongest in any other game. Not even my Destiny characters can beat this bond. Two fellows persevering to the top for the babe. As I was saying, two fellows persevering to the top. Not afraid to take any chances. Okay, that's actually a big fat lie. <laughs> yeah. But very afraid of taking chances. Um But that we don't get knocked down easy. We may look it, but like trust, it's not easy. It's not easy to knock us down. Me and the jump king himself. Themself actually. How rude of me to assume such a thing. Even if the name King does imply male traditionally. Not all queens want to be kings, but some kings want to be queens. <laughs> no way. <laughs> not all kings want to be kings, some want to be queens. Not all queens want to be queens, they want to be kings.
Even though I'll be, I'll be real, I actually don't even know there's much of a difference, to be honest. Both of them wear a crown, they're both royal, like, what more can you want? Like, unless you're talking about the positions of being king and queen. No, wait. Nah, I'm thinking too realistically on that. In all the fantasy, there's always a king and a queen, there's never usually just one. And then they both die tragically in a boat accident or something like that. So mad if like Rapunzel's parents didn't die. Yikes. But anyway, bog time. I'd say bog time's probably in the next ten to twenty minutes. Just prepare yourselves in advance for the trip. Because we're not really turning around once we start the car, honestly. Oh jeez, Joe, you alright? Sometimes it takes a real man to be the best girl. Truer words have not been spoken. Oh Jesus, where are you? Are you okay, Joe? I may need a mental examination. This game has put me through a lot. <laughs> Them boys, smile face, or yeah, smile face. Oh, why can't I just like walk out of the water? Why do I have to jump out of it? So much effort, like the world requires too much effort, Stacy. It wasn't Tracy, more like L Miss Lacy. Yeah. I swear that story is going to be told for generations. How close are we to beating the game? Um. How many hours of the stream multiplied by five? That's a close approximation. You might want to tune back in in probably even sometime in the next two weeks. Then I'll be finished. Hopefully. I say that now, but I've kind of set myself up to actually beat it in that time now. Um, well, in a month. 8Ball said, not this stream, twice. Uh, did you personal best, though? Not yet, nah. Oh, but yeah, no, didn't it say I had to get a personal best or some shit like that? That's too much effort, man. Jesus. That actually scared me. Da, 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 da. Oh, yowzers. <laughs> wake up, 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 wake up. Stacy's in a trance in the matrix. Tracy's in my bed in a trance also. <laughs> oh god, that's there. I do look dead, honestly. But one day in the future, I mightn't have eye bags anymore. <laughs> Wake up, <laughs> slaps dead body. That's what happens a lot of times in fucking media. They just can't believe they're dead, they have to give him a few slaps. Wake up. I uh, can't remember his name. Can't reference it then. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. Are 
Are you actually out of your mind? Oh, you actually just can't do this, can you? I can tell by the way you're playing, you're not gonna do it. Especially because you have to keep itching your face and stuff like that. Is not nice. Just prove me wrong. I bet you won't. Told you. Failure. Yeah, see, here's their biggest failure right now. Watch what you'll do wrong. Trust me. Oh, you thought I meant the last part? No, I meant what's coming up ahead. See, you almost did it there, but you're just trying to turn fate a little bit. There you go. So, do you know what you need to do? What do you mean, no? You should know what to do, like. Stacy's with Tracy. And McLacy. What was it? It's like full jump and then you do it in the air so you're ready. Hold on, I need to remember. Because I just remembered that hint when I got up to here. Wait, I'm not doing it right. I'm kind of doing it. I, I just wait hold on, let me do that and then Okay, move over. Wait, no, back a bit. There is a spot I can do this from. There you go. That's the spot. Yikes, yikes. Try not to die challenge extremely hard. That was actually probably the most pathetic attempt I've done so far. And watch me go slip down to the underworld below. Bump. It's a cycle, what can I say? I've been looping the footage the whole time. Listen out to the keyboard clanks, and then listen out or look at the gameplay. Doesn't line up. I've been faking it this whole time for the last 42 hours. I'm just doing my professional job, you know? Yikes. I mean, you could try not to do that, but like, I guess it's impossible because you kind of attract this sort of shit. I guess that's kind of just a you problem, isn't it? Not too much. Okay, so I believe we're going to reach probably near the personal best on this next one, but, like, it's not going to be there. Like, I'm going to miss it just by a little bit. Like, when I actually reach the next section. There you go. Try not to cry, challenge. Extremely hard. See, for that one, it doesn't matter. You can do it as much as you want. It's just this next one I'm more scared of. Yikes. Oh. So I kind of lied about that. Nah, too much. No, that's not it. Stop trying. It's not gonna work. Trust me. Even the crows outside are trying to warn me, like... 
just not gonna work. I'll be honest, like. Okay, if the crows could actually just shut the fuck up though, please, that'd be nice. But I don't want to close my window, like. How much longer are you streaming? I actually don't even know. I know it's been like five hours and a bit, nearly six hours, but I can keep going. I say that as I'm whittling down my sanity, little by little. Like, unless I have a big major fall, I don't think I'm really gonna quit yet. I keep thinking, oh. That jump up there isn't that much. As much as I think it is, anyway. Yeah, see, I keep jumping over that. Oof, fall below Phantom Tower. Then I would end it. We'll see. Wait, can I not just make it over to that other platform? I probably couldn't, no. Right, let's commence the challenge. Okay, yeah, see, as you can see there, that doesn't work. But if you do it from the middle, it's perfectly fine. And then here, you just need to do it this much. And then from here, it's not as... Okay, wait. Really? Joe? Slacking? Are you kidding? My fellow. My brethren. Are you okay? Are you oh are you actually like taking the pizzles? You're actually just taking this. You're no, you're taking this, you're taking this. Just go for it, honestly, fuck it. Whatever. Like, just, no, just genuinely, like, no fucking, like, no, no cap, no rap, no that shot. Just go. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you do that now. <sighs> nah, too much. There we go, that's it. That's it. Oh my god, okay, I actually... No. Joe, when I said that, that doesn't mean give up. That means keep going. As I said, I'd see, and I made a decision. I'm still going. Yikes. Oh, that's yikes. are you up to man the world legit could end and you'd still be here playing this game the actual discouragement I'm feeling right now but thank god cats exist man I remember I had a dream I was freaking out over how cute a dog was like white and fluffy. I think that's why, because the fluff, like fluffness of the dog. And ironically, it was a small dog as well. Even though I just said I don't really like small dogs. I'll be honest. It probably will be until I like drop below cats. That's probably when I'll quit. Like. The farther down it shoves me, the higher up I just want to go.
Jump King quest better be good. I'll be honest, I don't think it's going to be that good. Just from what I've seen so far. Like, I hate to be the bearer of, like, my own opinion, but, like, it's just how I feel, honestly. I just don't feel like it's going to be good. I know, yeah. <laughs> it looks so bad. Ah, well, we'll have to see. I guess we shouldn't really judge too hard until it comes out, but, like, I don't know. If they, like, it's just, but there's a chance, yeah. I think everything does have a chance, even Jump King Quest. <laughs> Small chance. Some might say it's near 0%. I don't like the health bar bad, yeah. Oh, why did I move? I fucked up the jump. I mean, as long as the health bar is only against enemies and not, like, when you fall. I feel like if you are if you take damage every time you fall, that's, that's bad. Like, you need to be able to fall a lot of times to actually learn how to play the game, like. Because if you, like, even if, I, like, for me, like, if I kept getting respawned back down at fucking bog because I kept falling, like, I would just never be able to complete this game. And that's just the truth, like. And, but, like, if they've made it easy enough... Where you won't fall enough, then it's not going to be hard enough and interesting enough for people to play it, like. And the enemies have to have this weird kind of balance between actually letting you play the game, but then also taking your attention away for a little bit so you can fight. Assuming that's how it all works and all that, like. But yeah, what you said to me on the Xbox lobby was kind of cringe, bro. And uh, yeah, you're gay. Plays guitar rift. Yikes. Oh my god. Oh, I just realized. Oh, what? What? Where are you going, Joe? Hmm. I can't remember myself if there was any day. I don't think there was. Because then, yeah, and you probably already know, like. Um. I just thought there, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Crab games would be just gas, like. The only thing I'd be scared of is what people say in those kind of lobbies, like. I do not like the fact that I am kind of just bad at the game. Mm, nay, not kind of, am bad at the game. God, I haven't seen my wife and kids in years, man. It's really taking a toll on me. Little Junior, little Bob Skull. And Felicia. God, don't even get me started on Patrish. <sighs> I think it was just a year. Yeah. Ah, it's probably better anyway, the longer it's in development. It gives them more chance to think about things and how the game's gonna feel overall and so on and so forth.
I just hope it's fair to the experienced players of Jump King, yeah. Because then at that point, if it's not, then like, at that point you might as well just tell people to play Jump King Quest first and Jump King itself. But then again, I guess it depends on the lore of the game as well. But in terms of getting experience, I'd say play the... Like if it was easier, play the quest one first. Get all the mechanics down. If the level's easier, you go from there. What would you do? I don't know, honestly. Yikes. I can't believe I actually saved myself again. That means more torture for me. I complain about that, but then at the same time, I'm literally the one that's keeping myself going in this. Like, I'm personally choosing to keep going, like. But I do, I actually want to, like, I want to get to thing. I want to try. So quest better be harder than, uh, Ghost of the Babe, yeah. But then again, at the same time, I don't know, it's weird, right? Because, like, if there's multiple, like, maps like this one, then I think, at the very least, the first map in it, like, let's say there's three maps. The first map of three should be on the same level, or maybe even under the level of, um, whatchamacallit, map two. To let people get into the game and have things because you have to think about the onboarding experience of people joining the game as well and for whatever reason they play quest first and not the original jump game what are you doing? My fellow Americans, this is against the state, the United States of America. And I will not stand for it. Man, it's actually kind of cringe when they like they make you take that, like, if you want to be an American citizen, you have to take, like, a test or some shit. And then you have to, like, swear allegiance to a flag and stuff. Like, I think that's kind of cringe. <laughs> that's just my personal opinion. Like, it's just kind of cringe. I solemnly swear. Like, I swear you're definitely pleading the stuff you wouldn't even fucking follow anyway, like. It's also cringe that they tried to teach me to fucking sing the national anthem of Ireland as well in primary and they said you wouldn't leave until you finished it. But then the, like a teacher came and distracted the other person and then the teacher just completely forgot that I was meant to do it so I've never actually learned the national anthem. Even though I do actually kind of want to learn it now, <laughs> to be honest. In American schools you do that at the start of every day. That That's just cringe. That's like... Uh, like, I know this might be a bit far sounding like this, but that kind of sounds like the shit you'd be doing in Nazi Germany, like. You fucking, what, like, salute the fucking portrait of Hitler, like, every morning, like. That's kind of, like, I say this now, because, like, in my school, like, we didn't have shit like that. Like, you kind of just go to class and do your thing. Like, the most we would probably ever do is, like, when we do religion class we'd actually learn just about Christianity and nothing else. It mentions God in the pledge. So wait, it's something about God. I guess it might be interlinked in a way, yeah.
But again, what am I to call it on someone else's system now that I think about it? Ireland isn't exactly perfect for education either. Even though I've left education, I really do hope they reform the education system at some point. And make it better for the kids coming up, because, like, it's just not it currently. It may be on me, though, that I didn't learn English and maths properly and stuff. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Ah, there's a lot of holes in America. Shouldn't have done too much though, Joe Biden might not let me back in. Um, but again, you can go off all day about different countries and their different things, so... Won't get too hard into it. Still weird to think though that America is technically like, what, a few hundred years old? Isn't that, like, insane to think about? Like, I actually might look that up. Hold on, I'm gonna look that up. Because I swear it was, like, two to three hundred years old, right? Or am I just tripping? Um, how old is America? America 2023. 247th birthday this year on July 4th. Still pretty young, honestly. But to be fair, then, you could probably point out... Hold on, let me just look up. Uh, what is the youngest country in the world? The youngest country in the world is South Sudan. Uh, they gained independence from Sudan in 2011 after years of civil war, but violence continues to ravage the world. Uh, newest country civil war erupted in Su the South Sudan in 2013 and continues today as political leaders from different ethnic groups uh, uh, vie for power. What other countries do we have? So South Sudan, Kosovo, Monte that word, Serbia, East Timor, Palu, Ertia. 1993 is the seventh youngest world in the world. I mean, actually, compared to those other ones. I think it means 200 years after the Constitution was approved. Yeah, but I think, like, then they actually officially named themselves America afterwards, like, the United States of America and all that sort of thing. God damn it, Britain. Why did you have to conquer the world for? Oh, excuse me. Because, um, what was it? It was like, um, yeah, there's like the current Americans there aren't really the American, like original, are they? It's like the Native Americans. They were like first on the soil. And then shit happened in history, and yeah, we are where we are now. Maybe Americans do tie closer than Irish people, or two Irish people, than I really let on. So it was like, what was it? Like, actually, no, it's, no way, it wasn't. It was. God, I'm trying to remember my history now. Christopher Columbus was. My brain is loading. No, he wasn't French. Wait, was he British? can't remember. Essentially, yeah. He thought, like, at the time, he thought he found India, but, like, he found, like, an entire new nation at the time. And they just pillaged everything they had, and, yeah. Not the proudest moment in European history. Whatever happened to the Native Americans, do Like, I know this sounds fucking ridiculous to ask, but, like, do they actually still exist? I'm assuming they must. I just never really looked into stuff like that too much. He cut off the hands of the Natives who didn't comply to give them their gold. 
Yikes. And we're usually killed. Meh. I mean, to be fair, like... It's fucking, like, it's mad when you think about it from their perspective of, like... Oh, well, we have, like, all these things they don't have, so let's just use that to our advantage. And obviously, as you're, like, letting on there, they, like, took advantage of them and essentially just built what they needed there, like... Long voyage, though, when you think, oh, where are you going? Long voyage, though. Like, traveling on a fucking normal, like, thing ship for, like, months to reach, like, America, man. And, like, nowadays it takes, like, six hours by plane, like, damn. You never actually step foot in America as we, uh, not it today. Hmm, yeah. Whatchamacallit. I can't remember. I swear, didn't he not like? Wasn't didn't he also like land near the Philippines or something like that? It's just like some of the North Islands from South America. He was in. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's where I was thinking about. So no North America. Yeah. Up we go. Ireland was kind of the same with thing. Like, Ireland was kind of its own thing until, um... <laughs> what has this dream become? It's become a talking thing now because, like, I can't beat the game anymore. Or get back to where I was. Um... No, but, like... I think... I th what was it? The Nordic Vikings or some shit like that. Or just Vikings in general. Like came to Ireland and that's how it was um what you call it, discovered and all that, and then Britain obviously got involved at some point and so on and so forth. I think that's how Ireland went. That's why Ireland was under like um British rule for a while until nineteen sixteen when Ireland actually gained um partial independence from Britain. And here we are today. That's also weird to think about. Well, actually, to be fair, 1916 is over 100 years as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, you actual maniac. Give me a second. Nah, that's it. It's game over. When the stream on the sour now. Joe will end the stream on a sour note. Thank you. You need to break the eight ball was right. Okay, no, seriously, stop. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, 1960, so that would have been a hundred and something years old. Well, actually, I mean, the independence of Ireland, well, partial of Ireland would have been over a hundred years old now. So I remember it was a big deal during 2016, because it was like a hundred years. Let me look up real quick, hold on. So nineteen sixteen was a hundred and six years, six months and twenty six days ago. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there for today. End it while the while the light is still on outside. Well, I say the light is still on, but sunlight is still shining. I'll probably relax watching Better Call Saul and go from there. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything tomorrow, so... Yeah, I guess we're going to just uh, keep streaming Jump King. Hopefully try and make it back to the 
halted ruins above to the tower and see if we can progress from there. Right, thanks so much, Fab, and everyone else for watching. And, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else to say, is there? Not really. Right, grand. Adios.